Good afternoon, good morning, good evening from wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the 2024 Pokemon Let's Go Any Percent No Mount Skips Tournament. This is the first race of the events. Uh, my name is CyJ. I am joined by the wonderful Phoenix Melior and the equally as wonderful Randall Eats Cheese. Uh, we are today commentating uh, the first race of the tournament between Etchy, Sandy, and Mocha Jones. gonna be good gonna be good yeah well uh, uh what i'm looking forward to is seeing if edgy does a repeat of last year's tournament where he got a world record in round one uh that would be nice yeah and edgy also just won the tournament last year so we're gonna be seeing uh how he does and also just how sandy and mocha also do and uh, it's gonna be a fun race it's gonna be really fun Really fast. Yeah, Etchy definitely you know, on everyone's yeah. mind. The current world record holder uh, of the category. In EV, um, anyway. And he's playing Pika today. Yes. Let's not forget that he's been beaten by two different people in the Pika category in the last like week and a half. And one of them might be in this voice call right now. Yeah, that so he's been holding a chokehold over any percent, but um, at least the Pika side of things, there have been folks breaking through. Uh, Saiyan C I N Q and then uh Mr. Evie Evie drawing in MS Paint, uh me. So <laughs> and she's technically third place on the Pika leaderboards, but he is going to be playing Pika and honestly I already made my prediction before the race that he's gonna at least bot me and uh, I really hope that doesn't happen, but you know what? A fast race is a fast race. So we're gonna see what happens. Uh, Echi, Mocha, Sandy are heading into the game, and it's going to be a fun time. Oh, yes. Oh, I see male Pikas from both of our Pika players, and oh, I can't quite see the deal on this Eevee. Oh, a girl Eevee. Uh, yes, I believe it was girl Eevee. Uh, we also got, uh, I did not see what Mocha chose, but Echi is on left Joy-Con, and Sandy is on right Joy-Con. Oh, I yes, am the left the con enjoyer myself. Thing. Right Joy-Con for me. See, right Joy-Con is just so. wrong. Yeah, I'm right-handed. That's why I always go to the right hand. See, there's some left Joy-Con support in the chat. I'm, I'm not the only one. So yeah, we're kicking off the tournament, and it's going to be a great time. Uh, this is going to be our first of many Professor Oak cutscenes. You're going to love this man's face. Uh, this man's pretty, pretty face. And... We're going to be seeing all these Pokemon all day, all night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's see how yeah. many of these pokes are going to actually get caught. Oh, Etchy. Beautiful. Girl 3 enjoyer. I love it. Uh, right, so okay. for those out there who don't know what we're doing, I don't know, Randall, do you want to explain what the point of the speedrun is? Uh, the, the point of the speedrun is to beat the game and become the champ. Uh, there's there's a lot of things that go into it. This is a three-hour run, and it will probably be a little bit greater than that, just simply because this is a race. Uh, I'm going to have to make sure you actually like finish the run and not just go for random YOLOs and try to win. Though, who knows what we're going to see again. Uh, but one thing that will take up a lot of time and a lot of energy on basically everybody's part, uh, there's this like one, uh, one slash 50 thing on everybody's, like next to everybody's usernames. Uh, that is going to be really important. And it's also going to go, and that one is going to hopefully go up uh, throughout this race, uh, if either of you want to talk about that. Yeah, for sure. So one of the really cool things about the Let's Go version of Kanto is that every gym leader has a different requirement for being able to enter their gym and fight the leader. Um, for Brock, it's that you enter the gym with either a water or grass type Pokemon. Uh, but the reason that this game is so complicated is because there's one gym leader named Koga with a requirement that you have to have 50 Pokemon registered in your Pokedex before you're allowed to enter his gym. So that's a lot. That's like a third of the Pokedex. So we have to go through the entire game figuring out where the best places to catch those 50 Pokemon are going to be. And man, it does it change every time? Yes, it does. And it's half the fun of this game. And it's personally why I love watching and running it. Yeah, if you've ever watched a Pokemon speedrun before, this is not a conventional Pokemon speedrun. This is going to look very different. Uh, usually in a Pokemon speedrun, we avoid catching Pokemon. Uh, this is the complete opposite. It sure is. And um, 
more to that. The way that you catch Pokemon in this speedrun is by using those lovely Joy-Cons and the motion controls that they have. Um, there is a way to play this game uh, handheld where you don't use the motion controls, but you actually get less experience for every catch when you do so. Uh, so it's actually better for the speedrun for you to use the weird Joy-Con controls, but that does mean that sometimes you get some really weird throws, but Edgy had a really good one there. See, Mocha had one of those ones yep. I'm talking about just now, where that'll just happen sometimes because the Joy-Cons are great. Um, something I saw, I didn't see Sandy's, but that number in the top right corner below the level of the Pokemon that you're catching is the CP, which is like combat points, something like that. Um, Edgy's was 26, which means that his Pika is not neutral, so he's gonna have to live with whatever he gets, plus or minus. I'm sure he doesn't have a backup. I think Mocha does. I don't know if Sandy does. We'll have to see what he does getting into the lab. Yeah, Sandy's Pikachu was also 26 CP. It's a little bit oh, of a quirk okay. with uh, Pikachu's stats. Eevee, yes, this doesn't work for Eevee. Nature has 27 CP, so you don't really get any information there. And we'll, we'll see what they do. I'm imagining Mocha's gonna just check the EV stats, and then proceed however I have a I feeling that Echi and Sandy are just gonna go. Uh, one thing I should note that I forgot to mention earlier is that um, Sandy actually recently took the weights off, and they stopped playing off of the OBS preview, and they instantly got like a one minute PD. Uh, so there's a chance that Sandy's going to be a force to be reckoned with in this, in this particular tournament. Um, now that they've taken the weights off, uh, which is really exciting, and I hope that they do really well. I'm personally gunning for them. Maybe not today specifically, but let's go, Sandy. Yeah, let's go, everybody. Um, but Let, let's go is yeah. the name of the game. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, so if you've played a Kanto game before, you might notice this opening is a little bit different from all the other Generation 1 games where we go through Kanto. We're actually not going to fight our rival here. Uh, we're actually going to go get the parcel first and then come back. Yeah, the game oh, so we flips do fight the our rival. Order. Okay. Uh, the game flips the order of the game progression and the plot. So the first thing that you do as, as soon as you get the starter, instead of fighting the rival, you're getting the Pokedex. Uh, the idea being that you're about to like go out into the world and you can start like catching stuff immediately. Uh, generally, that's probably not going to happen, but it is an option. But the rival fight will occur after doing the whole parcel quest, and there's going to be a really, 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 really long trip back. I was kind of stalling for time, but then I realized how uh, that actually is not that far into Rat One. But He's well, really I guess not. I've He's already got, stalled got enough some time. routes in the way. Um... It, 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 that can be a really bad thing if you get a lot of spawns in this route, you have to start dodging around them. Because if you do get to cl too close to them, you will get into an encounter with them. And every encounter is a waste of time until you get your Pokeballs, or rather, oh. when you get there. Only a very Edgy long trip back. able to ditch the starter there. Uh, oh, ah, back. yes. Did Mocha check nature? I don't think so. I didn't see. I think Mocha might just be going. Yes, yeah, no one confirmation checked. Apparently. That no one checked. Uh, so, uh, Sai it's and Randall will have to help me uh, with the Pikas, and I'll see what I can do about the EV when we get to see yeah. the stats. If we get to see the EV stats, we might not. I'll, I'll be able to kind of just keep track of what's going on. Uh, this rival fight, there's going to be a lot of information we're about to learn, or a lot sure. of non information that we're about to learn, uh, which also is information, I guess, but. Uh, with the Pika side, uh, Pika versus Eevee is, you're going to learn about if you have plus special attack, plus defense. With Eevee, you're going to get a good sneaking suspicion as to uh, plus attack, neutral attack, minus attack. Uh, Technically, I see a question in chat answer. about runnable natures. Um, so, for those who don't know, the natures will determine if a stat has a plus 10% or a minus 10% applied to it. Um, for Pika and for Eevee, you really don't want minus attack, um, and you don't want minus speed for Eevee either, and Eevee you can kind of run minus special attack, it's just a little hard. The rest you're pretty much well doing. What's up, Randall? I heard you go, ooh! Oh, okay, well, Mocha just got a crit and during the slideshow ooh. section of that fight, <laughs> so that really helped. I kind of, I have like a 90% guess that it is minus attack on Mocha's yeah. end. Um, Echi yep. and Sandy don't have plus defense or special attack, so 
Okay. We still don't know what natures they have. Well, um, we know they're not neutral, so... There's, there's about half of the nature pool that we kind of have already ruled out for the both of them. And Mocha, we, technically, it can be neutral attack, but most likely there's going to be four na natures that Mocha's going to be kind of getting, or already got. Right. But either way, they're going through Route 1, and we're going to head on over to the Youngster fight. Uh, this top percent Rattata is not, is kind of a joke, honestly. Like, oh, almost no. every fight in this game is a bit of a joke. Uh, oh, interesting. Belt route so... coming. Sandy couldn't walk up to the Youngster because of the Pidgey in the way, but the Pidgey actually stopped Ronnie from walking towards them, which is very good. Alright, now we'll see the level up for both Pikachus here, because for some reason Eevee gives one more experience when you defeat it than Pikachu does, so poor Mocha will have to find out in the forest, but let's see Echi! Minus special, defense, minus, and special yep. and then minus special attack on Sandy's end. That's that's doable. You can do that. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I didn't actually see if it was plus defense. I or didn't see the plus either. Or special defense, but no. it's it's one or the other, and and then Sandy got an awakening value in the other stat. Uh, those are important, so, uh, can yeah, one of y'all... Yeah, so, Awakening Values, um, are a, they're a quote-unquote random number that, uh, you get an extra point to your stat whenever you level up. They're not truly random, they, they're, they come in, like, ten level cycles, um, but unlike other Pokemon games where you have EVs, where four EVs equals one stat point at level 100, um, Awakening Values are one point at any level. And uh, unlike EVs as well, EVs you can have 252 in a stat. I believe in this game it's 200 per stat, I think. That's correct, It's like some yeah. ridiculous number. I also see Etiquette pointing out in the chat that technically the name for those Awakening Values is actually Go Power, but I am not calling oh, it that I'm, again, I'm but... not calling it Go Power. <laughs> Uh, no Let's go has this thing where every single thing, every move, every uh, feature, whatever there is in this game, just happens to have some really stupid names. Uh, yes. Go Power is one of those, so we're just going to collectively agree not to call it that ever again. Yeah. Great, great. That's cool we have a nice um, gentleman's and ladies agreement that we're not yep. going to call it that again. Sweet. All right. I appreciate it. Um, additionally, we also didn't mention this as well when they grabbed their starters, but uh, normally in a Pokemon speedrun, you might... Uh, either RNG manipulate your starter to have good stats, or you know, there's only certain sp stats you can take for a starter. Um, these EV, these EVs and Pikachu's always come with perfect IVs. They always come with perfect stats. Um, the only thing that's random is the nature. So yeah, and you can get saddled with some pretty bad natures, unfortunately, but it's all good. Uh, Mocha is kind of slide showing his way through a Pikachu right now. Uh, it looks like should be. Wait, able was to that before the Pidgey trainer? Yeah. Because okay, Eevee can have a problem on this fight. He d Eevee does not one-shot this uh, trainer's Pidgey even with regular attack. Um, so if you want, you can 2C your way through this fight with Pikachu using Thundershock if you catch one before. Uh, and that'll just let you get through the fight in one turn. It's a little slower than Pika, but it's a little bit safer because that Pidgey does have Sand Attack, which can make you miss. Uh, I am also seeing confirmation that yes, Mocha is minus attack and plus special defense. And that kind of sucks. Um, one... One way that you can make up for minus attack is just by getting a whole lot of experience. Um, in EV in particular, getting experience really lets you get through the EV section of the game way easier. Um, it's true for both games, but we're going to see people trying to catch as many Pokémon as possible to get the XP they need, because most of the XP in this game comes from catching rather than fighting. Um, oh, yes, one out. thing... Yeah, that sucked. Um, but what can you do? It's one, one C bugs. All right, Sandy and Etchy get their first catches. Uh, Mocha's going to kind of run around with with the helper controller as well. Oh, yeah, when I speaking of the second controller, you can see that Mocha's got a little girlfriend on his screen. Um, what that is is just you can shake your second Joy-Con, whichever one you didn't wind up using, and you'll make your support trainer appear. They they don't actually have any ramifications on the story or anything, uh, but they let you to see both catches and battles, and that's a broken ass oh. feature. Goodbye. Yeah, to it allows us to cheat in some fights. Yeah, you're and, a big uh, cheater. 
Yeah, we might just cheat in uh, a couple fights that are a little challenging to get through. All right, so Etchy and Sandy kind of deviating in the catch route here. Etchy just going straight for the Oddish here. Uh, Oddish is a bit of a requirement on Pikachu. Uh, its counterpart, Bellsprout, is a soft requirement over on Eevee. Technically can be skipped, but soft, there is one, that's, it's not that one poke soft. that needs to show up, and it's a whole lot harder to get. Yeah, so I mentioned that Brock's for gym requirement is you have to either present a grass or water type Pokemon. There are no water types that spawn before Brock's gym, and there's only two grass types, um, Oddish and Pika, Bellsprout and Eevee, or in both, there's something called Bulbasaur that can spawn sometimes, and you're most likely waiting longer for a Bulbasaur than you end for a, or be, for a Bellsprout or Oddish. Uh, so but... Sandy's getting the Oddish now. Oh, there we go. Okay, so they're both going to get some levels on it, hopefully from other caches. Because I, I hear that level 9 Oddish is just better for the fight, for the most part. Yeah, generally you want to get level 10, but uh, with Forest Belt Oddishes, it's usually just getting level 8. And that, yeah. all you really need to do to get that is just catch something. So that's exactly what Edgy's doing, catching that Caterpie to get Oddish up to level 8. And then Super. we'll be good to go. And okay. Sandy's teaching double kick. Uh, Oh, and heading on, on, um, on Eevee's side, uh, you need to get your Eevee to level 10, which is when Eevee learns Double Kick. And that's what the Eevee game uses to get through Brock's fight. So, everyone's doing the Metapod fight now. Uh, looks like everybody's getting two shots uh, with... Eevee, you can get a one-shot range at level 10. Uh, maybe not with minus attack, but that's beside the point. Uh, and then Etchy and Sandy are going to do the fight as well. Technically, there is a range at level 10, which is what Etchy is at right now. Uh, it's yeah, it looks not like uh, Mocha is going to do Route 2 oh. Roulette for a Bellsprout here. Oh, this is scary. Uh, no. uh, I don't see but one on the first round. Back and start over and try again. So it looks like uh, Etchy and Sandy are both on through and heading on over. There we go. There's one, and, there's and it's glowing, oh, glowing too. too. Does, does anyone want to explain what glowing is? Uh, you want me to do it? I can do it. Okay. Uh, so the glowing Pokemon are, they're either really big or really small. Uh, yeah, and they right award blue, a yeah. lot of, they award uh, extra experience uh, when you catch them as well. So. Uh, we're, we do want to get the glowing Pokemon whenever, but there's also a kind of classification of really big or really small, which um, we might have seen just on Mocha's side, yeah. actually, because there was a bunch of level ups there, where yeah. uh, we call them Wumbos, uh, where the they're Wombos. either really, really big or really, really small, and you actually get bonus experience for that. Um, there's no difference um, in the way they look uh, in the overworld, but um, if you do get one, you get a ton of experience. And it is very helpful, especially if you're minus attack on Eevee or minus special attack on Pikachu or minus attack on Pikachu. Um, it's just, just be generally good. There's going to be some time. Uh, it was just a regular Pidgey. Uh, okay. Mocha's Bellsprout was just a regular uh, small Bellsprout, Wonderful. by the way. So far, we haven't seen any supersized pokes. That's what I call it. I, I don't know. I watched like Super Size Me as a kid or something like that. So <laughs> me too. So that's kind of that's what I operate with. I don't know. But either way, Etchy and Sandy are heading over to the. Well, Sandy's still kind of registering pokes in the decks, but here's the Brock fight uh, with Oddish in particular. Pretty easy fight. Uh, Etchy's going to kind of like mash a. There's not much absorb. to it. Absorb, absorb. Okay, going to use growth to actually kind of like guarantee uh, the absorb on the next poke. Look, look uh, at the world record over doing these strat. advanced strats. Safer. Yeah. Safer uh, for races. As long as Onyx doesn't do like one really stupid thing, uh, it's going to be a one shot. Here's something. I don't know if I've ever seen a five poke Brock. I just realized that's what Echi has. It's pretty common in uh, in Pika, in, in especially Pika? Okay. when you, um, especially if you catch Oddish as like your second catch in Forest. A lot of really quick runs will do it. It's kind of strange and a little awkward to not have two second stage bugs, but it's it is how it just kind of shakes out sometimes. Okay, fair enough. 
Also, yes, I'm seeing in chat, um, hey, these layouts are great, and we should shout out the person that made them, and that's, uh, that's CyJ. Thanks, CyJ. Thanks, CyJ. You're, you're welcome. Yeah, I did a little, did a little bit different than what we did last year for the layouts this year, so oh, hope I, nice. I hope yeah. they do look good. Yeah. Yeah. CyJ and a lot of the, the admins have been working pretty hard on just coming up with the concept and the execution, so... Yeah. yeah, I I totally agree. It's really well done, and yeah, you should be proud of it, and we're going to gladly use it for the rest of this journey. Yeah, okay, so Mocha's doing the Eevee version of the Brock fight, um, so Eevee can That's handle this by himself, but he does need to use Tail Whip, or I guess this is a girl Eevee, so she. Um, so the Geodude will go down to a double kick with, oh, your minus attack. You might have to Tail Whip everything. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, yeah, um, if you were like level whip. 13, you might be able to go for this with the one without with, tail whip. With minus attack, you should be okay at 12. But you think, you think at level 13, you can skip the tail whip, yes. Yeah. Um, so, Mo Mocha did a really great adaptation there where they um, used the tail whip on the Geodude as well. Uh, oh, level 12 minus attack can do the fight normally, oh. so very close. Is that she's coming yeah, up on these coach trainers? Oh, we're going to ignore them the entire time. time. Alright. Those skips she's on his every way time. to, to uh, Mount Moon. On Route 3. Monkey. Here's an Ooh, what is this? Monkey. Get it. Found a monkey. Yeah, so of course he did. Uh, this game does have version differences, uh, like Ooh. all other Pokemon games do. Um, I believe these follow the red and blue encounter tables, if I remember correctly. I think um, you're you're about right, yeah. make them yellow. And in, yeah, so in uh, this game, Pika, uh, that's what it's called, uh, you get Mankey and uh, Sandrew, or Sandrew, as it were. Uh, and then in Eevee, you get Pika and Ekans. Okay. Yeah. Snack. Snack. Noodle. Snack. Snack. Danger Noodle. There's also uh, a very rare chance of Charmander spawning on this route. Um, it's Not very this rare. Route. Isn't it the one after? Mount Moon, no, it's, it also it's on, on You can see it on the Oh, uh, red, okay. The lead, no, it's just incredibly rare. I have not seen it. That would explain it, yeah. Yeah, I've run this game for almost three years, and I think I've seen it once. I've had That's some really strange... Uh, basically every route in the game, really, from my experience running the game. Uh, both Pika and Eevee. Uh, let's see what Sandy gets. Uh, Spiro. Just right, a glowing a Spiro. You don't want that. Uh, but you do see Sandy picking up a lure. We didn't talk about them in the forest, but uh, lures are something that you added in. Ad they added in Let's Go. They're kind of like lures in Pokemon Go, actually, um, where they make Pokemon spawn a little bit more frequently, and they also make them spawn at one above the, lo the top level that you'll find them at at that route. So in Forest, the top level you can find Pokemon is at is 6, so the Pokemon with that are lured spawn at level 7. That's really good for experience, and it's also better for consistency. Pretty and interesting that yeah. and and Sandy had slightly different catch routes. Um, but but they, they both got carp at the They're exact basically at the exact time. same point yep. now. Uh, and exact same yeah. poke count as well. Also, fun fact, Magikarp, the fastest catch in the game. So the game claims it's an outrageous 500 Poké Dollars, but no, for us, it's just speed. Yeah, like, and in this economy, for, like, 500 right? costs absolutely nothing. It's a bit of a steal. Yeah, and, and we did we did talk about how uh, they're going to be catching a lot of Pokémon in this run, and you may have seen Sorry. all three of our runners dodge the Spearow that spawned there. We're going to get Spearow much later. Uh, yeah. Part of the routing of the catch route of this is that we want to catch things that either give us like two for ones, like things that evolve quickly when like one or two levels, um, or just things that are like you know they're just there and like really fast, like Mankey. Uh, we're not going to evolve Mankey because it takes like I don't know, like thirty something levels or something. Um, but uh, it is a really quick catch, and you know it'll just you know we don't have to worry about. Uh, it's just one extra Pokemon, costs nothing to grab. Um, but we'll be getting Spiro much later when it's closer to uh, becoming a Fero. Yeah, I think Spiro right there is about level three or four, whereas it evolves at like level twenty one. Uh, I think like so. That. Uh, yeah. it, lo it evolves at 20. 20. But every but single level up is like, do-do-do-do, and it's a couple seconds, right? So yeah. it's way faster to only have it level up one time. And if you can find Pokemon that don't learn any moves on level up or evolution, even faster. 
-hmm. Yeah, the same argument can be applied to Magikarp. Uh, the the bot Magikarp is level five. Uh, it takes a bit of a amount of time to get it up to level twenty, so generally we're not gonna see any Gyaradoses. Uh, I'm sure and... someone. I'm sure there's a few people in the community who may just like decide they just want to get it anyways. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gyarados is not a terrible yeah. backup because you can catch a Magikarp later. It skips the Dex entry. Yeah, um, it's just more Pokemon in your party. Level, you don't need but that. If you are, if if you're really desperate, it's not a terrible backup. But you have to be really, really desperate. Okay, so Etchy's about to enter the next catching phase of the run. Uh, Mount Moon has a lot of stuff that you could possibly get, but you're usually looking for a uh, fungus, which is Paris, uh, a rock, which is Geodude, and a pink blob. Uh, there's several pink, pink blobs that spawn in Mount Moon, but we're hoping for Clefairy. There's a couple more, but we'll mention we them if they become relevant. We know. want all of them if we can. Etchy in particular wants all of them, but oh, yeah. I digress. Right, Let's see what a, he gets. Okay, that's a Zubat. A strange we don't from everybody there, but... Works out. All right, he grabs a nugget also. We're going to sell that for money later. Uh, there's a Geodude. Okay, we'll go for that. Also, good use of the second controller to kind of stun the Zubat that was running into him there. I'm a big fan of that tech. Yeah, it's super cool. All right, so Sandy gets a glowing Geodude immediately, so really Ooh, solid. Like that. So far, uh, no, none of the even... Uh, rare spawns showing up, unfortunately. Just Zubats but... and Geodudes, yeah. Uh, yeah. One of the really important oh, things about... Ooh, there's a pink blob, it's Clefairy. Um, one of the important things about catching in Mount Moon is that Misty's gem requirement is that you need a Pokemon that is level 15 or higher. Uh, so we try to plan to have our starter be that level when we get on a moon. So, uh, Mocha's just gonna wait for the attack. There's the side attack. And then gonna throw. Excellent. It barely clips the excellent throw, but kind of weird motion control, but didn't get punished for it. And it looks like Etchy and Sandy are going to be finishing their bug evolutions. Uh, yeah, with the timing Sandy's of the all these passes, something interesting is going to be able to happen. Uh, we'll see if it actually does happen. It might not. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, they're learning 20 at all at almost the same time. That's pretty cool. Wait for just... Oh, oh there's, there's a glowing fairy. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah, 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 about yeah. to just, uh, dump his party here. Change his entire party, uh, basically. Ooh, this is interesting, because um, typically you don't want your Butterfree to hit level 13, because it learns three moves on that level, but it doesn't learn them if it evolves at level 13. So, either we won't get there, or we'll go right past it. Oh, he... All right, we're not this getting man? there. He's so greedy. Ooh. He's so greedy. Agreed. Yeah, YOLO throwing, uh, this is what we call YOLO throwing, just kind of throwing at, right, as soon as it's possible. Kind of risks a few things like jumps or attacks. Uh, jumps are usually like perfectly okay. Uh, attacks, immediately, those are most definitely not okay, and it's kind of annoying when it does happen, but it is so what it true. is. I haven't seen any Paris yet. Have yeah, I don't Paris? think anyone has Paris quite yet. Where's but let's see if it just wants to go up. No, no shiny shy right yet. now. Uh, okay, Sandy playing friend. that inner cycle really safe there. Uh, I don't blame them at all, because I don't want to hit that trainer. It does, the the timing window is pretty here. But oh, yeah. it's still a little awkward to get sometimes. Especially if you have to like dodge spawns. Speaking of dodging spawns, Paris, Paris. Yeah, what Sandy just did there. Oh, there's a Paris. There's a Paris, too, on Sandy's screen. Yep. Yeah, Sandy grabbing. Oh, there's two Paris, actually. Oh, there's the oh. tank. Now Etchy just needs a Paris. Oh, there it is. And there it is. Gosh, man, this man just has all the luck. Uh, Etchy does have plot armor. So there's the, there's the jump that doesn't get punished, uh, or that doesn't yeah. punish the yellow throw, so really solid there. It looks Ooh, like Sandy's party looking, is good. Well, a little low in experience, the experience is really bad, but it is what it is. So I mean, is Etchy, to be fair. Yeah, Etchy also has really bad experience as well. Uh, it's kind of... Oh, Mocha going for the Yolo throw on Geodude. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's not normal, but... 
Hey, uh, Mo Mocha literally learned this game like th two to three weeks ago, and I think they're doing pretty great for that, so they don't know everything yeah. yet. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Edgy There's and Sandy. Of... Yeah, Sandy is going for a glowing Zubat because they need the experience big time. In fact, if I saw an Onyx or one of the other two pink blobs, I would expect both Etchy and Sandy to go for them. Yeah. Maybe they also should. grabbing a Nana going for the as well. That That's to keep a Zubat in one spot. I've noticed San Sandy's been having some, uh, some physically demanding time <laughs> in their personal life, uh, so they, they might be a little bit sore slash having a little bit of trouble growing, so I don't blame them for not wanting to deal with Zubat's nonsense, because that thing moves around like crazy. Alright, Mocha Chad is choosing saying, to see the Sand True fight here, so... Pro Chad is saying that Nenab Zubat is a scam, and I don't know, Randall, what do you think about that? Uh, Zubat in general is a scam. There's, okay. there's no good way to catch it. <laughs> like, there's That's fast true. ways... Uh, there's ways that can miss, there's ways that can not miss. Honestly, I, I kind of agree. Nanobs on Zubat aren't really worth it, I would say. But she also I don't usually go Zubat. for it. Oh, the instant attack, that's not normal from Zubat. Alright, actually just taking the nice throw, just hitting the circle at all is pretty darn hard on Zubat. It's true, so. yeah. Sandy yeah. unfortunately missed it, yeah. Anything. So, I would say Sandy going for that excellent was a bold choice. Oh, Mocha's just gonna... Like attempting Unfortunately, to get walked it. right into, or flown right into by Zubat, but gonna, gonna run. Gonna save it for Rock Tunnel, which I respect. Yep. Yeah, again, Zubat's another one of those Pokemon that we normally get later because it evolves in one level, but when you need experience, uh, Zubat yeah. yeah, you don't really get it, um, much of how, how are our players doing on experience now? Is Sandy close, or...? I don't think Sandy is close. I think Etchy yeah, is, like, so. right on the precipice. I would. Okay. My guess is he's gonna be, like, He's going to hit level 15 at the very, 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 very end of Rock Tunnel, or Mount Moon. I don't know why I call this place Rock Tunnel Because it's one of the two tunnels in the game, so you're just like, yeah, we're it's on a long, It's tunnel. a really long and boring dungeon, and no one really cares about what's going on, but everyone's panicking about catches. So yeah, I would say they're everyone, functionally the same Everyone place. is demanding EXP like crazy, yeah. Edgy will get a chancy for sure. I mean, he probably will, let's be real. Yeah. I think, I think they're all kind of in a oh, position gosh. where they could use random strange spawns showing up on Route Four. They really can, yeah. Mm -hmm. If not, yeah. there is there is a, a backup, but man, this is really low experience for all of our players. Just Yolo throws, don't do them. Oh, there's nice a little fable, fable on, on Mocha's screen. That's uh, one of the other ones. That's not one of those. Not going for the fable. I don't know. You know what? That's not a good one. I think the catch rate, um, if you get like excellent and use great double great balls and a Raz, I think it's like 69%. Yeah, it's not very good. Oh, it sounds not pretty great. nice to me. Oh, uh, okay. It sounds pretty nice. Also, it's unlearned, so like it's a higher catch rate by sure, some sure. amount. It can but bail out a bad run. I'm weird spot on Edgy if and Sandy. If only Diamond was, uh, was in Edgy here, should be fine, though. Be but... It's a catch rate. Yeah, Etchy's fine with plus attack. Sandy hitting through confusion. Not even level 14 yet, so definitely not going to hit 15. Oh, Clefairy. Oh, there's the Clefairy. That will really help, especially if it's that a will decent level. That will help Sandy out. Level 8. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's the attack, so going to be able to get the throw. The Nicely throw. done. Clefairy, out of the three standard Mount Moon spawns, gives by far the best experience. Uh, so, level 8, still going to give a really good amount, and Sandy should just be fine on experience now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think after the JJ fight, Sandy will be okay. But, we won't say no to a Sandshrew or a Monkey if we see one. Nope. More catches is always better, because that way you can miss a couple things later or mid-game, and you won't feel bad about it. All right, so actually missing the headbutt range on Atkins. Uh, usually it's pretty good, but usually you're level 15 for this fight already. Uh, but well, okay, crit on crit on coughing definitely helps things out. Uh, but yeah, actually sure. will be slightly short on experience, so likely we'll just kind of catch whatever the heck wants to spawn on level our uh, route four. 
Sandy is gaming so hard. And here's the Jesse and James fight on Mocha's end. You know, also be kind of strange. A little underleveled and also just simply minus attack. So we're going to see how uh, Mocha plays it out. Sandy also missing the tackle rank or headbutt range on Ekans. It's kind of what happens when you're not level 15 quite yet. Uh, but Echi has made his way out of Mount Moon. With Gonna 14. see what shows up on four. Yep. Echi going to check the grass here. There is a Rattata. And nothing nope, too she exciting. Just says, on. All right. Yep. Also, also an option. Probably not that bad, honestly. He's going for it. Okay, he's just gonna fight the rival to get level 15, it looks like. Uh, let's see. Generally, you'd want to uh, go to uh, the Cerulean Center the first, but I'm gonna kinda do. But this also kinda works, actually. Edgy in chat he's, saying, Trying you know, funny strat, I vaguely remember. Yeah. So, gonna get the kill. Oh, never mind. I take that back. How, um, how and is that funny threat going? Uh, that's not great. All right. Well, he sand attacked though. Well, so we got through bad. it. We, we still are still on the fight. Is what that's it is. bad. Okay, Echi. Remember how he has like a minus special defense nature? Did he just get a special defense AV? Your ITO. Uh, it's not normal, but it's, it's it does not sometimes normal, happen. But that means that his characteristic is uh, somewhat vain. Yep, the special defense characteristic, the way uh, natures work in this game, they kind of influence your AVs, but so do characteristics. Normally, you can't really get whatever the minus stat is on your nature, because whatever natures that or whatever AVs were supposed to go onto said stat just get redirected onto your plus stat. But uh, if you have a characteristic in said minus stat, that does not get affected by this like nature quirk. So that's how Edgy's getting special defense AVs. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate that he's getting special defense AVs when they could have just been going into attack. But it is yeah. what it is. Oh, yeah. Actually, he's going to head back to the center and go get Zippy Zap. And uh, Mocha's so in the center right he now. He just did rival, and now he's going to go head to the gym. Is that how this works? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured that was what he was planning on. Uh, missing the not killing with Thundershock kind of got punished, but... Hey, uh, Randall, you just mentioned something. What's Zippy Zap? Uh, Zippy Zap. It is a move. It is a really strangely named move, and it also does really, really, really strange things that are somehow weirder than the name itself suggests. Um, oh, okay. Let's Go has introduced some starter-only moves. Mocha taught, I would say a few of them. I'm just going to say three of them and just give the actual number. Uh, and they're kind of just available in some of the centers in the game. Cerulean, Celadon, I want to say Fuchsia. We don't really... No, I don't really know about it because I don't do that part of the game. Uh, or I don't use Pikachu at that point in the game. Uh, but these moves are ridiculously busted, uh, especially at the stage in the game that you're getting these moves. Really good power, and they also have really good effects. You're going to see one of, the, one of these moves on Mocha's end. Buzzy Buzz, whenever it doesn't kill that Golding or any other poke, it just paralyzes it. So, really good side effect. Uh, unfortunately, not getting the kill it does kind of suck, but it's fine. Uh, we're seeing Edgy and Sandy just spam Zippy Zap. Those, that's a priority move. It's basically like extreme speed. Power's not as good as extreme speed, but it's electric type, which is really good for Pikachu. And also it just crits, so it's effectively basically the same power, but with crit, yeah. but bypassing defense. And to um, fill in what Randall was saying about the Eevee moves, those moves are Bouncy Bubble, which is a water type absorb, only like 90 power. Uh, Buzzy Buzz, which does paralyze every time that you attack a Pokemon with it. And Sizzly Slide, which burns a Pokemon every time you attack with it. Uh, it they're super great, and they're based off of the original Eevee Lucians. Yep. 
So we're going to be using all of those effects. Uh, we sure are. are going to be spammed yep. all day, all night. It's going to be great. Oh, I see that um, Mocha forgot to deposit his friends when he uh, menued recently. That's okay. Yeah, at this point, kind of doesn't really matter anymore. Might as well just kind of leave it in for the time being. Uh, yeah. Generally, uh, Misty gives by far the most experience in this section of the game, so yep. if you're gaining experience on that, you might as well just gain experience everywhere else. Yeah, um, all yeah. three of our players... Oh, sorry, Sai, go ahead. No, you're good. I was just going to say, Fighting Trainers does not give as much experience as uh, Catching Pokemon does, so this whole next section uh, where we go through Nugget Bridge, we're just going to be fighting a bunch of people. And, yeah, uh, and it's kind of... it's just some fights in a row. Uh, there's, there's some hints that maybe this section kind of clues in that the game was kind of designed around Eevee because everything on this route is really well handled by the three moves we just learned as Eevee in the Pokemon Center. Uh, Pika has like a slightly harder time because there's a Sancho in there, but you know, it's just like, oh look, there's six fights, you get a nugget, and then you can go on and play the rest of the video game. It's, um, yeah, how's chat doing? We're just gonna... This yeah. What Randall, Randall called this copy past a bridge when we were talking the other day, uh, and so yeah, chat, throw them at us. If you if you have if you've been cooking up some good copy pastas, we've had a year since the last uh, tourney race, give or take. Uh, if you've got something good, put it in chat. Uh, if you get a chuckle out of me or any of the other commentators, good chances it's going to be read out on stream live. Uh, keep but it kind of PG, ideally. Uh, yeah. Like, honestly, there's not much to talk about here. Uh, no, whoa, no, you really. shot the poke! Well, actually, Mocha's doing right, so there's still a little bit of stuff to talk about, but... <laughs> yeah, Mocha's, Mocha's doing okay, Especially I know... with Mocha's EV being my attack. Oh, boy. Yes, yeah, doing okay. There's been some struggles, but we're doing okay. Yeah, this fight is going to be a little scary uh, for Mocha. Uh, the headbutt may not get the KO on the Pikachu, which... Uh, Probably the Pikachu won't. can troll pretty hard if it does not uh, one shot. That said, Headbutt doesn't have a percent chance to flinch. So, oh, oh no. dear. Oh, that is bad. That's, that's not what I said was going to happen. That's not what I. Oh, it's. All right, happen. never mind. It's fine. It all worked it's out. It's fine. It's fine. It's You're fine. fine. It all worked out. Echi and Sandy are two seeing the Sandshrew fight. Mo Mocha's going to be able to just kind of one see and do whatever the heck. Uh, Eevee can one shot with Bouncy Bubble. Pika's moves are. Headbutt, and then a bunch of, like, electric type moves from, from here on out, so not really going to be able to do the same thing, so going to get some help from Oddish, and hey, Oddish gets some HP as a reward, I guess. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Oddish only has one move, and it's, uh, it, it's absorbed, so... Oddish also has acid, just like Bellsprout, but, like, yeah. Who uses that? Uh, I lie, you use it. JJ1, I'm sure. It's, yeah, it's really useful, but we're at the stage where Acid doesn't matter anymore, and Absorb, as of now, basically doesn't matter either. Yeah. So whenever Oddish shows up, it's just a bot to allow for 2C catches, uh, fights in case of emergency, and yeah, Echi and Sandy are just kind of on cruise control for the rest of this section here. Yep, Mocha will be too, I assume. Yeah, Mocha's been be... on cruise control for a bit now, after yeah. that rival. Yeah, this whole section yes. of the game is just uh, oh. boring fights where you just one-shot everything. I believe so we have our first copy pasta. Uh, uh, this is this is an interesting one. It's, it's not know. bad, honestly. Uh, why not? Let, what, heck with it. Uh, hi, at, at Etchy! Exclamation point. Nice little quirk with how Twitch does their at thingies. Uh, I've been growing up alongside your streams, and I must say it's been my pleasure. However, now when I'm grown up, my friends are starting to have kids of their own. My best friend is hyper obsessed with an old RPG from 2018 and is dead set on naming his son Route 2 Oddish in June. Any tips on how to talk him out of it since a very su difficult subject, and he refuses to change his mind. Thanks! Exquisite. Thank you for that dramatic reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's what I'm here for. Dramatic readings. But yeah. He's just completely ignoring every everything Randall is saying and uh, lamenting his uh, lack of AVs. 
Oh, and you yeah. missed the coughing range. That's awkward. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine missing a coughing range. Imagine Could be a plus one. attack Pikachu. Imagine. Not even being 15 by the end of Moon. But yeah, no, it, 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 we're, we're, we're going through. Uh, Mocha's going to get another free heal off of this Growlithe. Oh, and she's doing that thing I hate. It's called Knock Skip. It saves about two seconds, and it looks so sketchy is, every time. Is. Oh, yeah. I forgot that that was a thing. You, it's... Can, you can dodge a lot of the trainers on this route. In fact, it's all of them except for the fishermen. Yeah, and it, like the, the one skip where you go between the two picnicker people is actually not that bad. It looks kind of sketchy, but it easy. is not as bad. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy. The knock skip is very not easy. I no, that is a very difficult it. one. The in the game uh, saves two seconds. Most people don't learn it. Uh, not worth, because yeah. you have to spend like a minute. See, etiquette, that would mean that we'd have to, if we read that, we'd have to call them go powers, and we're not doing that. <laughs> Got go power? Yo, what's that? Yeah, no, I, I agree with I agree with that. Stop trying to make go power happen. It's not going to happen. This game though, so fetch. Oh yeah, for real. So yeah, I think Mocha probably had the cleanest of the coughings. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of expected, actually. It is Eevee actually, just yeah. has a better range on it than Pika does. And but now we're it's here meeting this, uh, word. Also back, Pika. Sandy and Etchy are now in this house. We're meeting, a Nido Reno. Nido Reno! Standing up. Oh, oh, it's talking! Oh no! Oh no! Kill it with fire! It's a Nido Reno named Bill. Oh, oh. Have to do oh, something oh, at a computer? Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. I see. We have to talk to the Nidorino, and we have oh, to help him. Bill the is uh, Bill. The Nidorino has uh, entered a machine, some strange-looking thing. Oh, and and also, player... there's a cutscene right there. <laughs> Both players have been helping this this Nidorino. That's interesting. Whoa! The, the wait, what happened to the Nidorino though? Like, actually, <laughs> that's a really good question. I don't want to know but... the answer. <laughs> As speedrunners, we will never know because we skip the cutscenes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there is a ditch Bill bounty in this tournament. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, and like nobody ditched Bill. I don't really SMH. think we're gonna be. Well, Mocha still has a chance. He hasn't really gotten yeah. to Bill yet. Bill the Nita Reno. But yeah, nice uh, Echi and Sandy just gonna do the little. The, I say little. It's quite a bit of a walk back. Uh, yep, and then we're gonna go into was... this house and we're gonna see something interesting. Um, I think this is something that Etiquette currently has a world record in. It's called Detective Pikachu? Yes, uh, very, yep. very, this is the closest we're ever gonna get to Ryan Reynolds in a Pokemon game, so, like, just, just watch and enjoy. Personally, no, I we had Ed Sheeran in a Pokemon Pikachu. game. That is true, we do have Ed Sheeran in a Pokemon. And really, it should be voiced by Danny DeVito, let's be real. I agree. Also, I want uh, everyone in chat to pay attention to the footprints uh, that are on the floor here. And, uh... What about the footprints? Do you, who do you think made those footprints? Who's that Pokemon? It definitely Did wasn't it? that rocket, that shady rocket guy that was up there. His feet look normal. Maybe he's got a Nidoking or something. As speedrunners, we'll never know. Nope, because yeah. we don't fight that guy. Ol nope, older routes him. of Pika would actually fight that guy and get the dig TM from him. Uh, not really worth it. And there's other ways to kind of just BS uh, your way through the game with Pika without dig. Uh, in theory, it would help hit rock types really hard, but we do have a move called double kick. Uh, it does need a little bit of punching power, uh, but... We'll be able to get said punching power in a bit. Yeah. And this cutscene, uh, Trace comes up to us and says, Hey, you've got revives in your hair. And he gives them to you. And that's not weird at all. Now kiss. Yeah. No I remember when I played this game casually. I was like, that is a weird cutscene. Yeah. Uh, uh, you giving us the business there. Thanks, Trace. All right. We'll see you later. Close and personal. We're friends, okay. maybe not that friend friendly, but uh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, so Detective so, EB over on Mocha's side of things. Also, yes. underground time. Who would voice Detective EB? Uh, Detective EB? Ooh, that's, yeah. a, that's a tough one. My personal vote, uh, based off of last year's tourney, would be whoever the heck uh, voiced, like, Tingle in, like, Zelda. Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought you were talking about when I was uh, talking with Trubs about this last year. He just said to Danny DeVito, obviously. <laughs> I mean, if we could have both do it, if he if he's if he's willing to do both of them, I'm fine with that. Can get. Okay, so we're through the underground. We grab some money items, and now both Pika players are going to first get this candy that's hidden up here. We need that for later, and then they're going to look for something called a Growlithe. Uh, very rare spawn. They need it though, so hopefully it shows up. Yeah, this is Route Six. This is uh, uh, kind of an interesting route. Oh, uh, there is one on Etchy screen. I saw yeah, there is near that sailor. There is a Puppers on Etchy. Oh, the only throw punished again. Not much you can kind of do about that, that... one. No, Alright, Sandy's, oh, uh, okay, Sandy's gonna head yeah. back and reset the route. Sa yeah, oh, Sandy about yeah. to just reset. There I are ways to kind of go through without it, without a duck, uh, not a duck, a dog, but it's not you fun at all. without a duck, too. That's not so hard. Oh yeah, no, it's really easy. There's an Abra. Ooh, that be there's an Abra. Oh, oh there is a Puckers. Oh, oh no, don't here. run away. Don't run away. No. So Abra needs to... Um, you need to be facing away from Abra, otherwise it'll teleport away from you. Uh, so that was why I think Sandy... It wasn't really Sandy's fault. They didn't really have a choice there. They had to try and sneak behind Abra to try and catch it, but it was just spawning facing the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. Also, Sandy's Growlithe did what I call running to Narnia, uh, just running sure off. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a puff out there that Sandy can that's also catch, uh, and that'll be nice. There, I think that's the standard experience, actually. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, well, Sandy hit level 18, and that's what I know you're hoping for at bare minimum for Eevee, so hopefully that's fine. Yeah, you want to be level 19 coming out of here because um, we have another major fight coming up that we uh, would like to be a specific level for. Etchy also just completely cheesing those two trainers. Uh, cheese? Cheese? All right, Sandy. Cheese? Probably like controller lag there. Probably was going to get the excellent until the game kind of said no. That's my suspicion there. Probably, yeah. Uh, ah. well, yes, Etiquette, you can it. skip oh, no, those no. trainers. Oh, wow. You can yeah. skip those trainers. Turns yeah, out those trainers right actually have pretty narrow vision, and uh, if you go right between the two of them, uh, you don't have to fight either of them. It works both up and down, and that's pretty cool. It's a tricky skip, though. It's probably the hardest move in the game, if not for Nox skip. Yeah, it's the hardest of the standard skips. Um... Yeah. We're going to see Sandy attempt it, and then Mocha soon after. Try to get some stuff after the slideshow resumes. Oh no. Why did no, I say that? It's it's okay. Oh, look, a Vulpix, it's glowing. That's nice. Uh, and a rat for Sandy. Uh, yeah, just looking Sandy's for some XP. Oh, I am also, I'm also a proponent of catching Pidgey um, on Route 6. I just find it a little bit... Um, a little bit better. You can get two Pokemon here rather than having to hope you get a Pidgey on Route 17. Yeah, I think Pidgey here is uh, right. I always kind of go for it. Also, yeah, uh, shout out to Echi. Uh, shout out to Echi for being the 100th visitor to the SSN. Is that actually a thing? No, it's not. Yeah, so you uh, get like a sailor outfit if you're oh, the 100th another visitor. Abra. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, another oh, my goodness. Yeah. Abra. Sandy's just running an Abra factory out here uh, on Route 6. Kind of taking their time, unfortunately, to get them, but it's fine. Uh, Mocha's going to skip the trainers. and Nope, never mind. I nope. take that back. Unfortunately. Okay, well, we got the Abra. We used to do an Ab query to get it on Sandy's screen, but that's okay. Yeah, that skip is very, very precise. If you're just a couple pixels to the left or a couple pixels to the right, you will fail it. But uh, the good news is that um, on the Eevee version, both of these fights are super easy. They're just one oh, hit, yeah. and you can take that way out uh, on the yep. way on the way. Yeah, out so uh, in a race setting, if you hit the Vermilion skip, it's not a big deal. You lose a little bit of time, but that way it's much faster for you on your way up. You don't have to worry about like the stress of setting it up again. So... It's fine. Like, you, obviously, right, for Sandy, PB attempts, you want to go, oh, that was nice and clean. Good job, yep. Sandy. Clean skip there. So, yeah. 
Solid all yeah, around. Uh, actually, it's kind of jumped out ahead with Sandy just having a really strange route through six. Uh, Mocha's been kind of behind for a bit. And yeah, Sandy, behind the poke count as well, so they're kind of in the same two, spot yeah, right now, yeah. but Sandy is definitely still ahead. I think Mocha's doing a really good job, though, considering that they've learned this very recently, and they're doing a decent job of keeping up to Sandy. Pe keeping up to Etchy is not a thing I recommend anyone try to do unless you're, like, new Amber. So, you know. Dang. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna try it. Oh, okay, Ran Randall eats cheese can too. No, it, it, it is what it is. Um, Etchy is, like, actually just a lot better at the game than most people. Really strange freeze frame there well, on Mocha's th This guy decided, like, for a while there, Let's Go was actually his full-time job. So, like, I, I understand why he's so good at the game, because he's probably got more hours than I think anybody else in this game, in this speedrun. I think at this time, uh, nowadays, that is definitely true. Uh, yeah. I'd say up there, there used to be, like, Etiquette, uh, Amber, uh, yeah. yeah. I think Etiquette has fought, has um, put this game aside a little bit because he heard the siren, soul of, siren call of Donk, uh, and that's fine. That's totally fine. Yeah. Well, Mocha also the 100th guest to join the SSM. Oh my gosh. Oh, what are the odds? Yeah, what are the odds? It's just that easy. Just, just, just show up. At the right time, yeah. Joker's diploma career is like kind the of RNG like the top to start. on that category. Uh, I would say an OP. He's probably up there for most playtime. Uh, I would say I'm probably up there as well nowadays. Yeah, for better and for worse. Diploma. Uh, for a diploma, record. it's definitely just Joker beyond anything and everything. Oh, sorry. No, you're the AOP record holder. Diploma, I can, I don't remember. I am a no, uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, Sandy's kind of changing out the party. Uh, gonna go and do this rival fight. So, uh, okay, Sandy kind of just named every person in the game just a bunch of punctuation. Uh, okay, I didn't notice that earlier. But why that not? is a thing. Usually people just name stuff one, but... You were challenged by punctuation, why not? Exclamation point. True, the, the diploma record is held by the 69 Tails and 60 Arcanines record holders. That is that is that is a true fact. Etchy you grab uh, so skip on the way Etchie out. Just skip. Etchy's off to my least well, one of the um worst sections of the run, Route 10, where good runs go to die. Yep. This is, uh, this is the rough part. Who wants to talk about Route 10? Nope. So this is the route where <laughs> bad things happen. Also, side There's note, a... Mocha has a lot of speed on the sea, Eevee. Well, and it's still not really going to matter. No attack, just speed on this Eevee. We, well, it's a speed run, so we're going fast. We're doing our best, yeah. I'll talk speed about... at level 19. Yeah, so route 10, 10, there's yeah. so much we need on this route. There's like six things that can spawn here, I think. Five or six. And we'd like all of them. Let's be real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'd like most of them. Uh, we can we can go without Krabby, but um, we would like it if it spawns. Yeah, and the problem with it is you don't really get that many spawns at a time, and also they're just really... Uh, there's not many spawns at a time, they're also just not going to show up, and... Yeah, and you're just bleeding time the entire time. Yeah, because yeah, you're so looking for... Each... Oh, sorry. Oh, you good. Uh, each route actually has like a set number of Pokemon that can spawn on it. For the most part, we're never going to hit that number in things like um, Forest. Viridian Forest or stuff like that. We're never going to see what that number is. I'm sure someone in chat knows it. But uh, on Route 10, there are only four, slo four slots that can spawn things. So if there are four things on the screen, those are the four Pokemon that are there. And Let's Go uh, is a game... That was made for shiny hunters um, or speedrunners, depending on how you look at it. Um, but what this game does is it has something called a catch That's chain, so where if you catch a Pokemon, the next thing that spawns is more likely to be that thing that you just caught. And the higher your chain goes, the more weird stuff happens after like 10. 
So it, this is a very challenging route to get everything on because you have four slots and you don't want them to be the same thing over and yeah. over again. But it's not like our runners are looking for anything specific on Route 10, right? <laughs> right? Uh, right? It's kind of like Forest and Route 2 where there is a very, 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 very strong suggestion that you get a Nidoran male. Or a Nidorino, I guess. They're kind of the same thing. They're effectively the same thing. Uh, Except that's not true. Because, well, I say it's not true. It's only not true because you get different moves when you evolve. They function um, differently, but they, yeah, they overall they work the out. They the same purpose, you're right, yeah. They do the same job. Uh, but they kind of need to show up. Uh, they do. There, but there are alternatives. Uh, they're not fun. Generally, yeah. you're not going to see them because it does take forever to get spawns. But in a race, it's you kind of just want to get spawns. You if you're not, if you're missing yeah. out on Nito, you're probably going to like try to make it happen and show up. Uh, yes, Chad is correct. Nidoran male gets oh, close gosh, to and Nidorino Dogs has to looks. use thrash. Yep. Yeah, Edgy's dog Edgy's... is like, actually awful. Yeah, so uh, is the Pika. Sandy's about to test uh, their dog, but their dog is level 18, so the test is a lot easier. Yes. Now, it turns out, if you're if you're familiar with the original red and blue speedruns, uh, Neo King is still good. Uh, just all the time. Not as good, but Not as still good, but does a solid job. So yeah, Etchy's heading on over to Route 10. Uh, we'll see what Let's he ends see up what getting. happens. And All here's right. the EV versus Pika battle. Right, we, we got, got a Firo, which isn't good. A Firo, a rat. Is that the Firo? No, it's the Spirit. Yeah. Couldn't tell. That's good, yeah. Oh, okay, you want to go ahead. Extra corn drill would go very hard out of here. Mocha's doing a fun little strat that'll happen for him later, is he's using the Moonstone to evolve his Jigglypuff into a Wigglytuff, because Eevee doesn't need no man. Okay. E Eevee yeah. is a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Mm-hmm. True. So true. Uh, one thing we didn't mention in Mount Moon, um, I know Sandy didn't do this. I'm not sure if Echi or Mocha did, um, but in Mount Moon, our runners did pick up a Moonstone, uh, and in Pokemon Let's Go, at midnight, um, items on the ground will respawn. So it's actually possible to enter that room, pick up the Moonstone, and the clock will go past midnight, so players can grab a second Moonstone in that run. Um, unfortunately, no one able to pick up the double Moonstone, which is good because it is an extra catch uh, on both games. Um, you know, you can go either uh, Nido King or Nido Queen, um, and on Eevee, you can you know you just get an extra catch uh, on Eevee version as well. Oh, can the runners go back and show the Moonstone manip again? I missed it. Oh, our bad. Uh, we can just ask in the chat <laughs> if they'll restart. Yeah. Yeah. So, Actually getting the crab. Go ahead and get that Rattata. Yeah, and it got a crab. Yeah, Krabby is always good to see. It's like a little bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, often ends up replace functionally replacing uh, Spiro, but Etchy also has that, so that's pretty cool. Doesn't have Nito quite yet. And hey, Etchy, what what's your essay about? I have to know. You keep on wanting to go yeah. write an essay, and I just have to know what I it's about. Forgot to talk about that. Uh, Copy Pasta Bridge was like the perfect opportunity for us to basically no just like write Etchy's essay. Apparently, he has a 200 page essay. Uh, there's a Nito female on Etchy's screen, so he's going to go get it. Yeah, Nito, Nito, Nito female male is a good backup to Nito male. Screen, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we, we've got some time. Oh, there's Sandy a crab. A crab. And a crab. A two crabs. Oh, two crabs. That's rare. All right, well. Not much of a choice, just gonna have to start catching stuff. We'll grab the Spiro first, um, and then go for throwing crab. Did... Hang on, I thought it, Sandy was standing in front of the, the crab. No, what? Uh, no that was Sandy was playing as boy one, I believe. Yeah, but there were two crabs, and I thought Sandy was standing near two... Maybe, you know what? It doesn't girl, matter. Girl, girl one was by uh, uh, crab. No, but there were two. That, it's fine. There are two, yeah. Yeah, Etchy's not going to get the Nido Mail, it looks like. Uh, could return. Etchy's really Etchy Etchy just going to go. Would. Actually, Etchy has unmarked it from his tracker, so... Etchy really wants to go write that essay, because he's going into Rock Tunnel with 20 Pokemon, and I 
that's a little low from what I remember. That's, it's it's fine because uh, generally low poke counts uh, just usually mean things aren't evolved yet, and yeah, Etchy's stuff yeah, just true. hasn't evolved. Yeah, Etchy's doing Ooh, okay. Yeah, like we don't have. If you count there. the things that aren't evolved, we're missing. Etchy's actually at twenty three, I believe. Yeah, 23. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's still got 52 plan on his tracker. Uh, you guys can't see the tracker in chat. Um, so, you know, we'll we'll figure it. We'll let you know if there's anything exciting. But it looks like Edgy's unmarked um, the Nido, and he's still got 52 plan on his tracker. So he's comfortable enough that he can just run yeah. away. Yeah. So, should be fine. Sandy's going to go ahead and get the oh Krabby. Gosh, there so we get the new arena. Oh, okay. a bunch of crabs. Oh, oh, the glowing yeah. will be spawned. That, that's one Oof. way to do it. it. works, actually. Well, you know what? That's okay. Though a chance he will spawn. All right. Yolo throw kind of a bit too slow for the excellent there. Kind of a strange one there. I kind of thought that wasn't excellent, but it got in anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I'm Route no, 10 Chansey is Nito. not my favorite, but it's better than some other places. Little too early for the excellent, but this is where I Nito's would. This is matters, the last place I would catch Chansey. No, not for me. Oh well, Edgy's in Rock Tunnel, and he found him a chop. Very, very nice. All right, Sandy's catching the Nid Arena. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. No yeah, really fun some, way to catch some Nido. Bad spawns on Route 10, unfortunately. The the bad motion control auto centering, as in not centering at all. If you okay. having a phenomenal route, route okay. 10, actually. That's not fair. Like, uh, why can't we all have Route 10s like this? Yeah, no, Mocha's Route 10 is incredible. Yeah, Mocha's Mocha's also just getting really lucky with the Nidos not attacking at all. <laughs> Like that, there's not much to do to play around it. Got an excellent not even. Even. Yes. I, I not know getting that. So good. I know that a lot of people just go for greats on this route because this is where you start using double greats and catches, and that's that's something good. Yeah, just go for the faster catches. Nidos in particular are just really problematic, and they love to attack and swing away. So not much yeah, reason to actually Oka try for this. Only needs rat for this route yeah, to be and gets the excellent. Yeah, Rat, Rat, Rat can be caught pretty much anywhere, though, so it's okay that yeah. Mocha... If Mocha decided to leave now, that would make sense. I, again, 20 catches is lower than I like, but you're right. If he, he's got all of the things you want, you just need to evolve them. So yep. Mocha could leave right now. You could find a rat anywhere, basically. You could find a baby rat. You could find a big rat in Mansion if you want, as, as far back as Mansion. You could find one on the way to Celadon. Like, you'll find one eventually. Yeah, yeah rats yeah. are everywhere in this game. Rats, rats, rats. We are yeah, Mocha rats. should be good to go. Mocha yeah, actually is dismissing two player oh, oh. and uh, is okay. just gonna go. Wonderful. And uh, here's Lorelei. Oh yeah. Uh, last time we see Lorelei, well, for a couple of hours, for like an hour and a half or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but do you guys ever think of Lorelei? Uh, when I think of Lorelei, my uh, head spins all around. <laughs> I, I was I just actually... hoping you would say no, but yeah, as gentle as a butterfly, she moves without a sound. Is that anyway, from Fire on the Screen? Is that from the Fame Checker? It's from it's from Fire Emblem. Oh, look, Etchy's found okay. a Graveler. That's from, okay, that's where it's from. Right. Uh, Etchy's getting Graveler, so by far the best source of experience in this section. Uh, there's other pretty good experience sources, but they're rarer, harder to catch. And they're sillier. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I don't know. Okay, Raticate fully paralyzed on Mocha's end, so I'm gonna just swing away with Headbutt. Still hits through with Super Fang, which is really frustrating, but uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So, Nid Arena has shown up on Echi's side, so uh, Echi's kind of like Pikachu support is starting to come online. Uh, Sorry, I'm distracted by Lorelei, but yeah, Edgy's Edgy's doing the evolution screen. He's probably on Twitter at his at his place right now, as he's in the run, just like waiting for the evolution screen to pass. Yeah, uh, when there's a lot of evolutions in a row, it's just kind of not fun. 
It's kind of boring. The, well, that, that said, Rock Tunnel is a really good place for you to look at your catch route and go, okay, uh, what else do I need? What can I cut? What do I need to make sure I go get? So, you know, maybe you'll do a little bit of that, but, you know, Edgy's probably yeah. just pet, petting Shiro or something. Shout out to Shiro. Uh, shout out to Shiro. Yeah. Shout out to Shiro. Shout out to Kane. Uh, shout out to Aww. all the pets out in the world. Kane has been PS sleeping Kane. here um, Ooh, for like uh, an hour. She gets a rock tunnel. Mocha cutting the bush. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's cream cream. Cream. oh yeah, shout out to Callie, by the way. Callie. So, actually, you're kind of changing out the party now. Uh, pretty good time to do it. And also just get Notarina slash no queen up to the front of the party mocha catching a machop Ooh, oh that was a little rough, too late rough. for the excellent yep that should have been an excellent and sandy's also going to be evolving nido queen fun yeah fun fact both after all that going for nido queen no. we had to get the women in the party somewhere oh yeah yeah Boy, Pikachu, uh, Nido Queen is just right, I guess. I don't, Why I don't we're know. getting. Well, look at all this Nido Queen action right now. Nidorina even on. Mo even Mocha is evolving into Nidorina, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he has a Moonstone for that, for Nido Queen. No, he used it on the Wigglytuff for strats later. Oh, it's just the fastest of the Moonstone evolutions. Uh, Nido Queen or Nido King can take prio if you're like actually using it for fights and that's exactly what peak runners are going to be doing and there's a zubat actually sandy already caught a zubat I take that back i think that was a cubone that just spawned on sandy's screen uh mocha with getting the rhyhorn this is Ooh. what our runners are looking for in this yes. uh, area rhyhorn is the most valuable thing that we're looking for in this because we can ride rhyhorn in this game i don't know why but we can and it's great it's actually faster than walking uh, it's not yep. the fastest mount in the game, but it's pretty fast. So all of our players are going to be looking for a Rhyhorn. If they don't get one and they're in Pika, that's fine. Can they, can, they can make it work. Oh no, it was just the fight. Never mind. Uh, yeah, no, no, that Kanga was the fight. So fight. Sorry to those in chat that were excited about the Kanga. All right, yeah, no, so but... Sandy getting the attack from the Cubone. Just getting a nice, uh, hopefully he gets in. Don't think this one's guaranteed. It should be fine with a crate, but not really. All of our with... players, like, yeah. at a solid. Oh, there's, really, right there's now. the Rhyhorn. Uh, there is a Rhyhorn on Etchy's screen. I believe he's going for it. it. Yep. He, he doubled back for it. It's glowing, and so yes, that's not too bad. Yeah, the first that's trainer in that really room low. is not a spinner, so you have to just kind of go around the whole, like, yeah. chocolate block, is what I call it. Uh, Ooh, nice, excellent, Etchy. Yeah, get in the quick cycle with the Raspberry. Uh, usually, Rhyhorn attacks immediately, so it's just kind of worth it to spend the time to. Oh my gosh, Sandy with oh, a nice Sandy reject. Absolutely wrong. Rejected, but it was a nice. It was like a like... frame I'm, off. I'm so mad. All right, Etchy's plus attack in tech by technicality. Pikachu has hit by level 25. Uh. <laughs> I, I don't have a better way of describing it. No, uh, generally, you want to have uh, level 25 for sections coming up. Uh, actually, we'll probably be able to get to level 26 by the end of Rock Tunnel. Not guaranteed, but should be fine on that front. Uh, 26 will really help because uh, he knows he's getting a special attack AV at that level, and that actually may really help. Yeah. All right, you so Sandy's got level... oh. Eevee would love to be level Sorry. 28, because uh, that way we learn Double Edge. And Double Edge is how Eevee tries to get through Rocket Hideout. Uh, it, it, and if you don't have it, it can be a little bit unfortunate, especially since Mocha's minus attack. Hit the ball. Sandy with a nice throw on the Graveler. Uh, hopefully gets in. Oh no. Aww, oh, you, you gave Sandy the Graveler. Oh no. What the? <laughs> <laughs> we got the we got the runaway animation in a, in a trophy race. That's not what you want to see. Oh, hopefully if, it gets in. If right. um if a Pokemon attacks and its circle doesn't go away, that means it's about to run, and you better throw your Pokeball. Yep. Uh, so I'm glad that it got in the freaking ball because that would have been insult to injury. Bit of a bullet dodged right there. Uh, Mocha's no gonna catch a Graveler now. Actually able to get the. The Cubone, excellent, and Mocha gets the excellent. I don't think he razzed, so it's technically not guaranteed. Uh, Sandy's gonna go fight the Kangaskhan. 
All right, catch is going all good on the top of the screen. Yeah, it looks like um, I'm looking at the tracker that we have. I think that uh, Sandy and Etchy are mostly looking for Rye Horn. No, uh, uh, Etchy has Rye Horn. Etchy has most of the Rye Horns already. Sandy has everything but Rye Horn from here. Yeah, yeah. So Sandy's looking for the Rye Horn, and Etchy is, is done Etchy. now. Etchy is done now. Yeah. Or I guess Etchy could get Golbat, but. Nobody wants to get Golbat. Nobody uh, wants to get Golbat. He's unmarked it from his tracker. He's just like, yeah. no, nah, dude. It's You're actually not going to go for it, it, but it's a terrible catch. So we're balls, it. But it's not really worth it. He has good. He has a good enough catch uh, count. 29 is not actually that good, but it's, but it's not an emergency is level. my preferred bear oh, gosh. The tunnel. Oh, gosh. I know you can leave tunnel with less. But... Speaking of Golbat... Yeah, just waiting for that spinner there is fine. The timing just kind of sucks if you go for Come it and on, get punished. Sandy, you deserve a ride horn. Whoa! Not the onyx. Oh, okay. Not the onyx. So we can ride onyx as well in this game. That's not uh, helpful. Sandy not going for that. Sigh. <laughs> oh, and it just spawned right on top of them. There we go. Let's freaking go. And right. it's tiny. Let's freaking All go. Right. Okay, spinner spinning the correct direction for Achi, so that's good. Mocha is gonna fight the Kangaskhan. Beautiful, excellent. Probably Everybody got a Rhyhorn. Yeah, goodbye. Good. Goodbye, Onyx. Uh, actually, actually going to repel here, um, just to not surprised. Uh, He's done, right? The, uh, yeah. Monty. He's done with catches. Onyx was in the way. No, no option. No way to get around it other than just get rid of it. So, uh, goodbye, Onyx. See you in. Uh, no, don't see you at all. Goodbye, Onyx. Uh, see you when we fight you in never. Victory Road. Oh yeah, there are boxes in Victory Road. But that's right. like an hour and a half from now. It's fine. Yeah, got plenty of things to do before we get there. Uh, okay, where are you going? Okay, there we go. Yeah, don't go. Yeah, you can tunnel. go up or down on that. Rock uh, tunnel is pretty confusing when you're new. Um, my yeah. dad's actually have pictures because I just get so turned around in the dark. All right, Mocha waiting for the spinner to spin and then running into the Zubat. Really solid choice there. Does need the Zubat, so this is great for Mocha. Uh, hopefully it doesn't give him too much trouble. That was okay. That should have been in the circle game. I'm mad uh, It was in the circle, but yeah, all the circle runners are getting robbed today. That that just to hashtag robbed all around. Uh, Mocha just hitting the, just just hitting the poke is all that matters on Zubat. Um, it's true. With, without a circle, yeah, the catch rate is uh, like... I would say like 80, 90 percent. I want to say I don't really know, uh, but it's more than good enough to the point where there's no reason to be going for uh, nices or or uh, greats that just don't happen anyways. <laughs> but hey, yeah. uh, last time we see the claws fight. Uh, this time on the Eevee side, uh, not going to need the double kick helping hand combination on Rhyhorn, so I'm just going to one see the fight. Uh, the chop is kind of annoying this though. Is... Yeah, this is scary because uh, obviously fighting is super effective on normal types, which is why he's going to burn the Machop. But oh because gosh, he's minus so attack, bad. it doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, it, but... I was worried. Uh, but your bouncy bubbles, 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 no. bubbles might not should be fine. Kill. It, it kills. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. There we go. We're yeah, level 25. So any heal here. as well. I'm not All right, worried. Let's see what worried. we got on the other side. Uh. Unfortunately, hitting the uh, party screen on Sandy's end, but it's fine. That's okay. Gonna have a free turn on Nidal Queen on this next turn, so could just choose to heal. Uh, speaking of healing, that's exactly what Achi's doing. Getting a good flinch there, and then I'm just gonna get the X attack on there on the Pikachu, and then fully set up. I'm gonna headbutt Helping Hand on the Jolteon, and then we'll be good to go. To the next I was gonna round. ask how how Eevee dealt with Jolteon, but yeah, headbutt helping hand makes a lot of sense. Yeah, plus four head uh, helping hand. It's effectively like uh, it's, effectively it's effectively a plus, plus seven if that exists yeah. in the game. So it's like plus really freaking powerful. It's and there's three point five or something. Oh, oh Charmander! Rare Char on Sandy. Sandy. Cool. Sandy. Go they do have old spells, so, so they can just roll with that. And looks like or that's exactly what they're doing. Oh, that's what yep. they're doing. Yeah, Raspberry too. I would. Yep. Yeah, Charmander is a pretty annoying catch. So, 
the run has yeah, been waiting out by the, the attack. Yeah, That's there it is. the right yeah. decision. You could throw it right now. Perfect. Yeah. What an excellent. The game didn't rob that one. Now you just get in the ball, Charmander. Yeah, Ultra Balls Ultra are a, a very... Oh, gosh. Anywhere in the room. Let's go. Beautiful, excellent. Yeah, yeah just really the solid there. Just Ultra Balls anywhere in the run. Uh, trainers Ultra in this Ball. game, uh, in addition to giving you money, uh, will also just drop, give you Pokeballs. And uh, the Ace Trainer Crazy. that we fight with the Kadabra is the first chance you have for Ultra Balls uh, in the run. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you can get Ultra Balls in a couple of places, though most runners that are higher level, like Etchy and probably Sandy, will only get like a couple of them. So for using Ultra Balls, they have to be really careful and ration them a little bit. Yeah. There's a total of... Actually, there's technically more than 13 I Ultra Balls was... available, but uh, yeah, realistically out. there's only out, 13 but... Ultra Balls available. <laughs> And they're not super fun to actually go and pick up either, so... Uh, let's see, Mocha two-shotting the Meowth over there. With Bouncy Bubble, it looks like. Uh, can still just kill the Vulpix. I don't know if that's really going to happen at level 25, but uh, we're going to see uh, if it happens. So level 25 is the minimum level that I think you can Alrighty. leave Rock Tunnel at in the beginner notes. Um, obviously, a little low experience for when you want to be level 28 leaving this place. So, uh, poor, poor Mocha might have a rough time in Rocket Hideout. I'm just gonna have a tough time everywhere. Oh, okay. Also, yeah. just hitting the Leer again. Bit of a for fun oh, uh, Leer. Metronome time? Metronome oh yeah, time? that is a thing. Uh, let's see if the Metronome. headbutts are Metronome, let's see what we get rolled. I've seen some bad ones. Metronome, Mega, mega Kick. Okay. Uh, okay. Shout out to all you fire at least green runners out there in the crowd. Uh, right? Mega Kick is a very fun move and it actually hit in Edgy's case. I've seen some really bad ones, like Thunder Paralyze. I've seen. Um, people have gotten Fishers. People that are uh, I've seen, I've, I've lost the run to a guillotine there. Oh, beautiful. Guillotine, uh, Fisher, yeah, beautiful. 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 And, uh, Whirlwind's also really bad. That's one that I've gotten multiple times. Uh, usually, Nidoking's really good there, because Poison Jab just obliterates Clefairies. Uh, especially, uh, the the Let's Go s Session uh, fairy types that they are. Imagine, and imagine not saying he got type. he got whirlwinded and had to finish the fight with Machop, and that sounds horrible. <laughs> yeah, whirlwind can. I mean, we're not going to see whirlwind at all for the rest of this run. Well, and like you said, Clefairy is a but, fairy uh, in this game, so just a hard time from Machop. That's yep, that's bad. Yeah. So. There's the rival fights for Mocha and Sandy. Uh, overall, doing pretty well on time uh, compared to Sandy, but obviously behind on catches. Uh, the the usual community number for uh, what a poke is worth in terms of time is is 30 seconds. Uh, it doesn't like you can kind of adjust it up and down depending on what said. Uh, pokes it's are, a but hand. it's a good enough it, shorthand. It's good. But it's a good. It's a good enough option. You're yeah. welcome to paste in the copy pasta because uh, I couldn't find it. Yeah, where's the 30 second copy pasta? This so this is a staple it, yeah. of Let's Go, uh, Let's Go tournament yeah. races. And I'm kind of surprised. Uh, edgy talking to the channeler here, setting uh, the nature for the rest of the run. Uh, for the rest of the run, ah. every Pokemon that he catches will be a modest oh, nature. For Modest. a low, low cost of ten thousand dollars. I wonder what's totally worth it. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder why he's doing that. I wonder why. I wonder. I wonder what we're gonna use for the rest of the run. Because we've we've already hinted that we're not gonna be using Eevees and Pikachu's the whole time. But who knows what? what we'll be using later? Oh, thank you, Sil. You found us the copy pasta. Alrighty. This is this is a staple. Who wants to do? Who wants the honors of reading well, it? Oh, Randall. It has, it has to be you. Has to be you. Dang it. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh gosh, it's starting to scroll. Everyone's posting it. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, listen here, folks. They tell you that each catch is thirty seconds, but that's a freaking lie. What they don't know is oh, stop scrolling. Uh, they what they don't want you to know is how every new mon has so much overhead. They don't tell you about how Krabby needs four levels to evolve, or how Zubat learns a move on level up and evolution. Or that chasing a Growlithe up and down Route 6 wastes 10 seconds of your life that you'll never get back. Let's go pacing is an absolute joke. 
so also, true. It's such a scam. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is PSR TV chat at its finest, uh, or at its Agreed. worst. I don't know. Mocha kind of going under, uh, under the that house that we will be revisiting later on in the run. I don't actually know what to call it. <laughs> isn't isn't he Mr. Pokemon? Is, is he? I don't know. Mr. Fiji. Mr. Fuji. Oh, One what? Fuji. Okay, Etchy kind of getting Fuji. trolled Mr. there. Fuji yeah, not Etchy getting not the put to sleep. Punch in there. Go figure. With Nidal Queen, John you usually one shot that. No, uh, Mr. Pokemon is in Johto. Uh, right. Mr. John yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, John Pokemon. John He's in Johto. Johto. He's in Let's Go Johto. Let's Go Johto. He's uh, related to uh, yeah. my uncle Tim Tendo, who works at Nintendo. Yeah, really confused about that one point there. Uh, let's see what we get for metronomes, because we're getting on that fight right now. Sword stance Sword from. Sword stance. <laughs> It doesn't do anything. Uh, let's hope that yeah. two shot happens. Ooh, nice flinch. Uh, Mocha got a flinch, so. Okay. Bit of a range, flinch but got the, the two the shot. most common so thing you can get there. All is good in the world. So, Sandy's gonna go grab the Firestone. Uh, very nice to Firestone Arcanine. It is a faster ride than uh, Rhyhorn is. Oh. Uh, unfortunate. Oh, how's was Ryan was early. oh my oh, god! It seems to be really happy that you won the battle, and I agree, I am too. All right, shoutouts to Chansey, everybody. Uh, Mocha, uh, Mocha, go oh, to it, do oh, it. Sure. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, probably wants to go to Ultra Ball. No, oh, okay. Mocha well, knows that we're nothing. here for the content. All right, first ball every time. It's just so easy. Oh. Never mind. You commentators cursed him. No! Oh, we're just gonna run. Oh, okay. We're just gonna run. Well, Chances you know what? That means there's a chat. There's a chance for it later. Chat. Yep. It'll be great. All right. <laughs> the other question is, will we see a shiny this run? Because you tend to see a lot of them. Let's go speed running. Uh, I may, I may have been watching a diploma run the other day, and there were there were two completely useless shinies that a certain somebody saw: a, ma a shiny Magikarp and a shiny Ven Venomoth. Couldn't be me. Didn't commit to the bit. Yeah, it is It is what it is, but this is still a race, uh, no matter how silly you want to play, uh, no matter how many random things want to show up, this is still a race, so I think it's perfectly... I can't, I can't talk. Uh, it's perfectly reasonable to run away, and yeah, let's see how this uh, this Grimer fight goes for Echi. Uh, actually, it's going to be free, because he's just going to expect... Congrats, Sandy, for teaching... For, for sinking modest, uh, we we love to see it. Yeah, but so Something far that two for two. Cool. Haven't forgotten yeah. yet. Uh, Mocha, 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 Mocha. Where are you going? Mocha, Mocha, Mocha. Uh, this isn't the usual order of events, but you know what? No, I, I... Evie has a move to learn. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on either, but you know what? It's fine. Hey, we're just doing this cutscene early. Time save for later. Oh my gosh. Yeah, time save for next time. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh, Mocha's Mocha? going shopping, isn't he? Yeah. Where, where are we going? Why are Let's we going shopping? Let's go to the mall. Why uh, are we going shopping? We're going to check the board for the store directory. Yep. We want to go get There's a lot of really stone strange, stone uh, really strange text boxes in this game. Uh, not that one. Wait. Okay, We're yeah. No, that's, uh, that's the Actually, TM. No. We're selling okay. stuff. Maybe this Eevee's a material girl. Because we are living in a material world, and I am a material girl. That's as much as we can do without, like, getting DMCA'd? Yep. <laughs> oh, hmm. Why? I like, I like etiquette's uh, let's go to the mall. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I, Mocha sold 81 Pokeballs. Yeah, didn't oh, sell the balls have, earlier. Oh, were we Maybe short on money? money? Yeah, that's probably oh, what okay, that makes to sense. buy to get to Modest. That, that's probably what happened. Okay. You know what? Something I must respect have it. On yep. one, then, okay, that makes you sense. you naturally get enough I, money to buy Modest. I either Mocha didn't sell the fossil <laughs> or forgot about the nugget, is my guess. The yeah, nugget, I'm not sure it, what happened there, uh, but it's. Moon. Yeah, no, it's in the, it was in the fine. underground on the way to um on the way to oh, another oh, yeah the one another, to the another needle coin put to bed uh mm. yeah usually you just go for the plus two crunch range uh 
but looks like Sandy didn't go for it and gonna have to suffer through a three turn fight as a result. Yep. And now Mocha's heading on over to go. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. That's. Yep, no, Mocha's going to the right place now. They're gonna go into the under underground. They've got Glitzy Glow, so that's important for later. They've got um, the Modest for that. Why do we? Why we're doing modest? I don't know, but here we go. I'm sure we'll find out later. I'm sure. Yeah, we'll modest find out. is very modest is nature. It's pretty bad for the starters, but obviously that doesn't it doesn't change the natures of the starters at least. I mean, it would help Mocha, but it, that's oh gosh. Oh Mocha's gosh. going through a pretty rough fight over there. Uh, you can have a really bad time with this Eradicator's EV, unfortunately. I and just wanted to yeah, pull I out think summoning the second controller. controller is a good idea here. Yeah. You can either Headbutt heal and... or. Right, um, actually, and also heal. starting J and J two. This is one of the scarier J and J fights. Yep. Fury is in the chat saying Hideout sucks anyway. It's so true. Hideout's my least yeah. favorite section in this entire run. And oh yeah. god. Edgy That's actually just really got, solid. Got the one just shot. Got paralyzed. Nina Queen doesn't matter, anyways. Right. Um, choose to X attack or just go for the helping hand. Yeah, I'm just gonna X attack. Yep. Hit, kill. Yeah, and that's it's it. just that easy. Alrighty, so that's just for the Jesse and James fight. Do you use Nina Queen on the um, Archer fight? Yeah. Okay, so you uh, need to unparalyze it. Technically, yes. Uh, so Sandy's going to go ahead and use Rhyhorn for the Grimer. Uh, okay. Not pulling out help, just going to just gonna one see the fight. So two shot with Drill Run. Hopefully you don't get absolutely trolled, but honestly, Minimize is actually perfectly okay. So I'm going to Schler Sable away the Paralysis on Echi's end of things. Uh, Mocha's going to X attack and spam Headbutt, it looks like. Now we're coming up to uh, Archer. Um, all my homies hate Archer. We hate Archer. Yeah. Uh, this fight with Archer is not that bad. Uh, we will. We may see him again later, and uh, no one likes the second time we see him. No one likes the second time we see him. Yeah, using Rhyhorn on this fight is just rough uh, on Sandy's end. There, but when there's no solutions, that's an option. When your peak is underleveled, it's what can you do? Yeah, there's no winning at that point. But uh, Etchie's doing the, the... Oh my gosh, getting a really what nice one-shot crit there. beautiful crit. Uh, so that's one way to not get hit by the wheezing, but just murder it. Yeah, just uh, manip the crit. That's how you do it. Yep. So, you literally can do anything with Nido Queen on this free turn. Usually it's a heal turn, but when you're at full HP anyways, it's not a heal turn. Alright, Mocha's going to about to do something incredibly run. dangerous. Don't try this at home, kids. Yeah, please don't stand on rolling chairs. It's bad for you. Especially on a concrete floor. Yeah, no kidding. You're going to roll all over the place. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, we're going to head on over to... Giovanni. Uh, let's see, Echi has four X attacks at this stage in the game, which is actually perfect because uh, we're going to kind of blow through three of them right now, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. We sure are. Rocket Boss Giovanni. What a what a new. Hopefully, this is the last time we'll see him. Yeah. Not fun to to stare down. Uh, gonna get kind of just kind of spam x attacks in his face though because nothing's gonna happen yeah fake out exactly so sandy's healing the rhyhorn and getting ready to use that on jesse and james and then and she's fully set up uh plus six zippy zap kills the persian and plus six with helping hand is going to punch straight through uh the Rhyhorn. Also, just a casual observation. Uh, Pikachu has 69 attack right now on nice. Edgy's Dare I say it is nice? You can dare. Alrighty, it's nice. Good. Alright. I'm glad that Chad is also thinking it's nice. I appreciate that. Good. Okay. And it looks like Edgy has taken down Giovanni. 
Uh, now, uh, now that we've saved the Cubone, we're going to go back to Pokemon Tower. We even get the Sylph Scope to let us see the ghosts. So, what will we do there? So, so I, I just want to tell a story about a good friend of mine. Uh, his go name on. is Rick. Okay, uh, don't go on anymore. It, we, we got some time. Uh, I don't know. He's he's a simple man. He knows the rules, and so do I. So a full we have a free all he's looking spot for. on commentary. <laughs> if um, if anybody in the server wants to wants to jump in. Just, just. Oh, Etchy is grabbing the lack of ultras. On. Interesting. Uh, I guess yeah, he decided Etchy he had enough to catch. Interesting. Yeah. He so there are five ultras in that room to go for. So he really needs to not be uh, given up by by Rick. Uh, really does not want to be let down. Uh, if things points. start running around and deserting him, <laughs> it's going to be pretty bad. Randall, please. He might cry. Uh, well, would not be goodbye, good though. to say goodbye. And she would never I, tell a lie. I'm not, not telling a lie. I agree. It would hurt him. Do you want to do that, Etiquette? Could you server meet Randall? Could, could somebody else come <laughs> in and commentate with us? So, if anyone's curious, uh, just say Rick and Ghastly, like, one after another. I don't know. And he's gone. Yeah, so, so the things that you can find in Pokemon Tower are Ghastly, uh, you know, Zubat, Golbat, and Cubone. Um, the players don't really need most of those things except Ghastly. Ghastly would be nice to get. Um, there's Rick. a real split in the community about whether or not you should lure for Pokemon Tower. Uh, I'm on the it camp really that you is. don't. I really like. I really think that luring in Tower doesn't seem to work as well as it should. I think that you find either the same amount or more spawns if you don't lure. So, I don't think Etchy lured. I don't think that Sandy is going to lure. The beginner notes yeah. suggest that you do lure, uh, but maybe Mocha won't no one either. Does. You shouldn't, but that's my... Yeah, lures are a scam. That's my belief. Yeah. It's it's not worth the time it takes to put on the lure, because you don't get enough boost in actually getting the Ghastly to show up. And also... That's my like, experience. The other, like, there's another benefit in that leering for Ghastly means that it's all, all of them are going to show up at the same oh, level. Oh god, that's always scary when me. when you see that skip. Yeah, that skip that Etchy just did, I I actually can't do. I can't. No, I go I go up and around her. I do too. It's a tough skip. You have to really hug the bottom edge, and you have to move like as soon as the floor loads. You do not have a real much like any. Yeah, you have like screen. a frame of like not leeway. But it's it's basically trivial for Mr. Knock Skipper uh, Etchy. So, oh, Mocha's gonna go in you... fight oh. uh, Jesse and James, and Sandy's gonna go kill off that Rhymeron. I kept pointing out that uh, if you don't lure for tower, you actually have enough to skip the super lure. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind, actually. Looks like Mocha's using the, the EV Rhyhorn strat for JJ2. All right, let's see if this, uh, this glitzy glow wants to start punching through stuff. Uh, I mean, that's about expected, to be honest. Yep. Evie was poisoned. All right, Etchy's going to change out the party now. Uh, not really going to be able to... Uh, what's that? Oh, nice uh, tower Golbat. We love to see tower <laughs> Golbat. Just, now, I just... wonder if Etchy's going to grab those Ultra Balls standing behind this channeler. Because that's another place that I tend to grab them. I usually grab those ultras. And they're quicker than the ones that he went and grabbed in um, in hideout there. So if he grabbed those, I hope he's going to grab these too. Which means it'll just be flush with ultra balls. Mocha's uh, just kind of chilling at like, I think that's 8 HP? I, I think that's 8 that's HP. Yeah. yeah, it's 8 HP. Just chilling out there. Uh, once you kill stuff, it doesn't actually matter if you finish the fight at 1 HP or full HP. It kind of doesn't actually, but 
That's beside the point. Uh, Moog is just gonna be healing at some point. Probably just now, because he's poisoned and at 8 HP. Uh, very important cutscene for Echi. Let's see if he wants to be a man of the people and not skip it. Of course not. The man is gaming. Nope. Lame. I don't know if he's on a good pace. I don't... He's not real. He's, he's not really. Yeah, he's... He's... yeah, it's... Not great. Yeah, this he's pace doing... is... He's, he's comfortably fine. in the lead. But, uh, he just wants a really good race time because he knows that Sandy's ideal. like on and his heels. Where are not. all the stupid pokes for him? Where are the Rick. pokes? Come on, Rick. And no Rick. All right. Still works. Uh, Etchy's gonna basically have to catch anything and everything that shows up from here on out. But that that's he's still, still doable. Got, he's still got 52 planned. I think that he'll do. Yeah, we can. Oh, well, never mind. Well, we, we just we just pop the gasly. Yeah. He unplanned gasly and Haunter. Oops. Rick has. Uh, yeah, and she's gonna have to go for every single thing available here, including the Pidgeot. So we need a uh, Pidgey uh, on Cycling Road. Which is my behated. I hate having to rely on Rutsa's Pidgey. We can get Tangela, though. We can get Tangela. We can get Tangela. We can't get Tangelina Jolie, but that's only if Pidgey doesn't show up. Yeah. Know? So he's gonna have but to spend a fair amount of time. Also, get Forbidden Drowsy. Forbidden really Drowsy, though. Rick no. Uh, catches on. I hope I hope Rick Gasly uh, catches on to the level of Tangelina Jolie. No. Shoutouts to that. Uh, what was that? Timid Cubone there on Etchy's screen. Uh, Cubone was acquired before Modest was synced, so does yeah. not apply. Not yet, at least. Would have applied to Rick, but uh, Rick kind of, I don't know, was going to give uh, Etchy up. I wonder if maybe Echi will just go and get a Venonat, because you know that that's not the worst, right? He's got a back. He's Andy gonna hovering maybe... the leer there for the for uh for the memes, I, I'd imagine. Doing what? Sorry. Uh, Sandy quickly. Oh, nice power of love, I guess. Uh, actually, does kind of help, I guess. So that is ah. the first power of love of the tournament, actually. I think so. That is but true. Uh, I know or, we we tracked that like last year. It, as we like to call it, <laughs> Path of Legends. <laughs> Uh, okay. Us, us scabby it's runners. Same, it's the same abbreviation. Uh, us, us scabby runners. Yeah. <laughs> There's dozens of us. <laughs> yeah, sure. Dozens. We, 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 we literally we dozens of us. Sure you do. Sure you do. Was uh, Mocha Mocha was, was more, I, I'd imagine probably, yeah. Minus attack, though. Pretty underleveled, so. Yeah. I'm just going to have to deal with it, but going to heal and then take on, take on, uh, Giovanni. Sandy running through with everybody's favorite Growlithe. Puppy. And Nothing Sandy's going to get it. Right? Puppy. Don't mind, don't mind the dog over on Echi's screen. It, uh, it's, it's evolving at least. So that's good. A, yeah. a bigger doggo. Fast, I love bigger speed, dogs. whatever it is. Uh, uh, Arcanine, one of the faster ride Pokemon. Yep, very, very fast. Ooh, crit fake out, that's not ideal. Oh, that should that's be true. fine. Oh, uh, okay. Slider, there you go. There uh, yeah. you go, Mocha. Oh, that, you, no you damage. That. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, we're okay. summoning second. Yeah, second that, that makes a lot of sense. Fico no, crit is very scary. It, yeah, um, it works. All right, Hopefully let's see. Uh, let's see time. who person wants to target here. It's kind of, probably still. Oh, it's actually. Yeah, I figured it might be the crabby. Thankfully, it's not gonna die unless there's a bad thing. Why is Evie so bad? Look, Etta, don't don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. <laughs> Why is Eevee bad? Ooh, there are so many ways to answer that question. I don't even know yep. where to start. Uh, that being said, we're also about to be done with Eevee, so I don't really care about answering it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Echi going for the Snorlax here. Uh, fun fact, this Snorlax gives more experience than any member of the Elite Four. But we're not going to fight it. No. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> There's nothing we are we are absolutely not catching this Pokemon. We're saying, and oh hey, look, it's a Snorlax. Bye. Can be shiny. Uh we did see a shiny one in the tournament last year. 
I remember. Uh, that's he has to ask that got it. All right. So Edgy can run without fear. Um, this, this Pikachu yeah, is fast enough that we can run. Cuts and do it for the people, Tone. Skip the cuts yeah, so you, you, you can't see it uh, on the layout if you've never played this game before, but for some reason, the static spawns in this game, you have like five minutes to no, fight them. I think it's a go raid analogy. I don't know. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, okay, yeah, so, Ed so too. It's weird. Edgy's entering Pokemon Road. You want to find a whole lot of catches on Pokemon Road. You want to find a Doduo. You want to find a Psyduck if you can. You want to find a Ponyta. And in Edgy's case, he wants to find a Pidgey. You have to get skip that either, trainer like, by watch. hugging the wall. Uh, and let's see if we can find a Route uh, 17 Chansey, because that'd be oh, hilarious. Oh my me. god. Does this guy have plot armor? I don't understand. Next is Eevee. Watch. Watch and learn. Sure. Yeah. Pidgey's really good as a first catch, uh, because you can just catch it with double braids. You don't actually have to change yeah, the balls for it. Yeah, he, and you can just see all throw. So Hopefully very fast this catch, catch chain right. doesn't, doesn't mess things up for him, though. You say that. about to get uh, Fly, uh, Floaty Fly, or whatever it's called in this game. Skydash, I guess. Balloon fight. Uh, we just kind of strap ourselves uh, to a lawn oh, chair with movie. some balloons. Definitely safe. Disney Pixar's up. Oh, there's a pony saw. Thank you. Hey, it's better than Batty Bad. Batty Bad. Batty Bad. It's the dark type move that he became. Uh, my favorite one is still Pushy Push. Going nice throw there. Pushy Push a little bit good. early for the grade, but. Or well, Choppy Chop. You know, choppy Chop. Choppy Chop. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Surfy Surf. Surf. I thought that right. one was. Uh, I to uh, Pikachu. That's oh, not normal. Um, what happened? Yeah. I guess no, Pikachu sure. got crit or something, and the, the I don't know what happened on Sandy's screen. Oh, I was too distracted. That's that's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lots of things went wrong. Oh, Charmander. Oh, no. A little bit of a cameo for the naughty Charmander. Oh, I think... I think Sandy's fine here, actually. I think it's Should okay, it's just kind of awkward. Yeah, because we can just... If we really need to, we can zippy zap the, the Arbok. No, our box outside anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, not being set up for the, the you just the it. is kind of annoying, especially because you're just getting pelted by Sludge Bomb. Uh, Etchy's getting Doduo, so almost done with catches just like that. Yeah, Etchy just needs, I believe, Duck, and uh, I think Mook that's is getting it. Route. Nice, nicely done there. Uh, all he needs is Duck. Yeah, that's it. No, we do need Duck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sandy's just kind of going through it. Just in case anyone's curious how long it takes to kill a Weezing without setup, uh, we're getting the answer right now. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, and Power of Love to heal, so that's good. Plenty of turns to get it. Uh, still can just get poison again. But oh, yeah, no, I think Sandy's fine from this, from this range because we just uh, X special. And we're good. All right, Etchy is going to put away help here. Uh, it's kind of awkward if you don't. Uh, because that stretch of road is long and very long, and your second controller doesn't. And there's, the there's the duck. Right. This this guy, man. Is it's actually the just gonna get it real. And off for, and my my cat came that. into the room and started screaming, and he knows that Etchy's full of crap. Just like, right, buddy? Just nothing. Great. Right? Nothing? No, he doesn't want to talk to the camera. He's shy. I think Mocha's PB is like. 324 right now? That sounds say. close, yeah. So, doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Mocha's actually on very well. This is honestly real. great for Mocha. Okay, so, actually picking, picking up the Silver Razzes, he has a couple more catches to do, so I, I think that's reasonable. Yeah. And I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, all those trainers there are blind. Uh, they can't see anything. No trainers in general just have no it, Yeah. yeah it, it always looks scary, but all, all those trainers are blind. They're so blind. Yeah, it's it just looks bad. Oh, look! Mocha's showing us the cutscene. No, this this isn't the cutscene. <laughs> is it not? Oh, I'm, no, I forget. I skip, so first I skip it so many times. This is the first I skip it so many times. I just don't know what it looks like. Uh, Etchy is coming up on the cutscene yeah. that I wish we could skip. Uh, Right? Mocha with part. the good casting skip. Didn't see yeah. any of it on, on his screen. Time save over Sandy and Etchy. Yeah, this this cutscene is adorable, but it is really long. It's very good you if you need a bathroom break, though. 
It is, and I, I know Etchy has taken bathroom breaks during these cutscenes before. Etchy's- I've seen Etchy take a oh, bathroom break. break during- during one of the gym fights. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, you kinda have to do something about that. There you go. Good job, Mocha. Uh, using it? No? Okay, well. <laughs> Alright. Look, it's hard, okay? Joy-Cons are a whole thing. Yeah, so. And she's getting a uh, surfy surf. Oh no. Yeah, this is what oh, happens. Great, great, and oh no. Swimmy swim. Gotta switch. Gotta use them. Launcher balls. Throw? Ah. Oh, oh no. This is not good. Oh! That was a motion. And the random has worn off. <laughs> Really? Okay. So, uh, let's see what, what Echi's about to catch here. Yeah, so Echi only needs a couple more catches, so it's gonna be interesting All to see right. what he opens it out with. Alright. Okay, oh, a tentacle. Tentacle's okay. yeah, cool. cool. a good Pokemon to end the run with, if that's our new main. Yeah, uh, it gets, uh, it gets Sludge Bomb, and, uh, I think it gets Surf, too. Really so nice good. TP on this, Okay, uh, that's not bad, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could see Tentacool being pretty good for for the rest of the round. I don't know. It's right, one of those has conquered. Has, um, special defense. That's his main stat. That's kind of that's kind of a little low, you know. Like it's, it's a little slow. Special defense is too high. Never useful stat. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Plus, like, how do we beat Sabrina better. with that? Yeah, you don't really, right? You're too slow. Yeah. You're weak to psychic. You know, you gotta find something else. There's a Magikarp. Oh no, not not taking the Magikarp. Okay, okay. Well, all right. It. So it's not Gyarados. Yeah, it's not Gyarados. He's uh, oh, he's going for uh, a water stone. There's a water stone okay. there. So that's, that's pretty cool. Fun. So what's he going for? Oh, he's going back up. What's he going for? Eevee. What's hey, that what? in the water? Oh, it's oh, a star. It's a star you. Okay. A 1083. 1083? <laughs> that's not bad at all. That's so, solid. Yes, this is I mean, is the it still doesn't thing. mean it's a good star. Oh, there's yeah, the attack. It doesn't mean that. The star's average CP is 1062, I believe. Yes. Uh, so this is above average, but that means nothing, actually, because the the um, the IVs, the individual values of the stats, could be split up anywhere. Yeah, it could be 31 attack and, and zero special zero. attack. Yeah. So, oh, gosh, actually still can't get that Marowak better. yet. The... Yeah, right? Missed the first ball, though, so... We got, got, we got uh, Charmeleon on. Okay, getting power enough. Oh, oh uh, crashing is a magic card. Uh, we do not need that. It's for freeze the spinner. Uh, running away so. from that. Had to avoid not the spinner bad. because, um, as we found out last year, the spinners on this route are brutal. Oh yeah, they they oh, have. Yeah, no. we have there's, on this there's nothing that can actually do damage at this stage in the game because everything's still like level thirty. Yeah. Or it's level thirty nine and still unevolved. So um, there's nothing. So actually, just needs slime like, and yeah, done. that one, that one right there. Just that easy. Yep. Uh, so Mocha's yeah. through Justin Nobody James. Nobody got a nine XX last year. Everyone's stars were pretty okay. Oh, did he back out one? Oh, he got one. You're right. Like one of the later races. So everything Look, going pretty swimmingly. Uh, actually, he's going to be able to just change out his entire party more or less now. Yeah. So. Everything looks good. Sandy's gonna be able to also change their party soonish. Uh, doesn't have to do, do it right now, but uh, has time. Yeah. Well, heading oh, into the dark on... Oh, you know what? Change That's out. fair. A mocha picking up the backup great balls. Yep, that's not a bad idea. Guess they gave them enough trouble. Uh, what level I'm does Dodo evolve? Uh, it's, it's like one after we captured it. It's like 30. Uh, so 40? I think, Literally I think that's low. Because uh, Sandy got it on um, Route 16 there. So oh, if you get it on 16, uh, the, only, uh, the only poke that needs to be level 39 is Ponytail. Everything's fine. That's Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, look at that. Yeah. 
Oh, 31. Okay, yeah. Oh, good. okay. Mocha getting kind of unfortunate there. That was a little bit out of range of talking to the Snorlax. I think if you get... I might be remembering AOP, because I know right. we use uh, Dodrio for a fight in AOP. I think if you get it on that route, its move order is different or something. That's correct. Yeah, Drill Peck yeah. is in a different slot. You might need Drill yeah. Peck later. All right. Look at that Snorlax. It's not oh, shiny. Actually, candy, it's the no, CGI. No, uh, there are no shiny, characters. no shiny so. Snorlax. We still have a couple more chances Ooh. to see shiny in the run. Nice glowing doe duo that's just chasing Sandy around. Rude. <laughs> but Sandy needs a pony. Uh, here, pony pony. You do need a pony. Your pony, pony. Alright, so Angie's about to change the party. Yep, Come on, set it up. We need, we need a horse. Pony. Give we us need a horse. Horse? We need a horse. horse? Oh no. Alright, Angie oh, has the. We're gonna repel. We got a repel left, so that's good. That's okay. We're gonna try one more time for a pony. Don't need the speed, anyways. Come on, pony. So that's a good start. Pony. pony! There we go. Yay. All right. All right. All right, so Sandy, I believe, is good on catches now as well. I think Sandy just needs star, slime, and oh, jellyfish. Uh, star, slime, jellyfish. Yeah. Yep. You got it. Uh, yeah. no, they, still they not using the Ultra Balls yet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, actually, they well, unchecked. They, they did not need it. Right. Yeah, they yeah, did not need it, actually. They need the slime and the, and the star, uh, which yep. is probably... I think slime is a way better catch than tentacles, yes. right? Uh, yep. and any the tentacle is one of the first things I cut on a catch route. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so, yeah like, I'm right there with you. It's yeah. such a miserable thing to catch. Yeah, very miserable. Um, I'm, get, you know, I don't even like catching coughing because I'm an EV player, so that's what I know. Coughing it as. is also coughing, awful. That's the second thing I like, cut. Yeah. I keep coughing over tentacle because I can two see it, but yeah, coughing is the first thing I cut. To do. Yeah, yeah coughing, coughing and tight, uh, is the second thing. Um, but they now, both are suck. we gonna see a Magmar? Because I would no. like to. Uh, but, actually, but maybe we'll for know. Mocha. Sandy's oh, there we go. Their tracker. Or actually, everybody has. Oh, this is the last mind. place we can see okay. a Chansey as well, I believe. It is. Oh no, we can yes. see one on the way to Saffron. Um, yeah, I guess you can. Um, there's another Magmar, okay. Uh, this is the first fight with Starmie. I didn't look. Did anybody see how good Etchy's star was? It's very I good. I did not see how uh, good it was, though. Etchy's speed tied with, uh, with Rapidash, but otherwise, Ooh, really good. Well, that's not tied. great. What was I mean, his level 45 I speed? Uh, I mean, if you're good with... If you outspeed Nine Tails, you're good for later, so it's fine. Right. I just know that um, 84 speed... At oh, level that's rough. That's awkward. No, he's, um, yeah. he's a speed tie on the Pidgeot later, so that's that's the metric I know. Alright. So uh, we have to heal here now. Nah, he's not healing this. Oh, he is actually. Okay. Yeah, he's just... really low. I, I think I think it's quick attack nah. range on the Nine Tails. Nah, he, that would have been better just... Uh, I don't think it is, but let me look at that, that range. I uh, actually didn't quite get Rapid Ash, but that's okay. It's a little bit of time loss to not have Rapidash quite yet, but it's not a big deal at all. Etchy hates Sandy... bed heal. He's not going to bed heal. Yeah, no. Nice ditto. ditto there. Yeah, let's go Ditto. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, this is the only room Ditto can spawn in in the game. That... okay. Sure. Uh, looks like quick attack range is less than 39 HP. Nice Tangla is. Goodbye Tangla. Oh, my and apologies, close. no. Quick attack is 18 HP. So oh, yeah, 18? Guess... What was that? Yeah, I thought he was at 20. I think he was at 20, so maybe he was just being safe. No, you, you get hit by Magmar, so you you don't get a choice. Oh, that's right, because you, yeah, yeah, you have to set up right. on that. Yeah. Right. Of course, there's a reason you have such a good time in Pika, because you're smart. Sure. Yep, that's exactly no, why. But, uh, but I'm going to accept <laughs> yeah, that. No. Well, you know what? Take it. Take it where you can get it. Oh, 17 uh, Rattata. Not your everyday occurrence, but hey, if it shows up, it shows up. 
I looked at the tracker. Mocha did need that. Um, so it was either there or Mansion, and I don't blame Mocha for trying to take it a little early. He's also looking for I'm a Pidgey right now. And a Pony. A Pidgey and a Pony. He's got Duck. He's got Doduo. Yeah. There's Doduo. Pony. So there's Mocha pony. could also do Pidgeotto no, into Pidgeot. Oh, no. Yes, either so, one works. Um, yep. I don't know why no. he ran right past that yeah. pony, though. No. That's unfortunate. No, okay, no. Oh, we did miss uh, Sandy's 1057 star. So. That's all right. That that can be fine. Uh, also, at a quiz time in chat. At a quiz time? At a quiz time. All right. Uh, hopefully, you all know your Pokemon knowledge. Uh, there are eight badges in the game, apparently. Uh, okay. Shout out to yeah, Iron. Good. That's good. Uh, new, steel type is not a very effective against fire types. Good, good, good. Um, good to know. Anyone good. know what, true or false? Uh, TM28 is tombstony. Sounds about right. Actually, no, 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 no. It's tombstoner. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely tombstoner. <laughs> and who are we about to fight? Uh, some old guy. Oh, okay. That sounds <laughs> right. There we go. Look at that shocked Pikachu face. Wow. There's four grand trials. You're right. How did I forget about that? <laughs> four grand trials, obviously. Yeah. That All game right, that will never see. Oh, and that yeah. was that was a high throw. Hunting the balls to the moon and Mocha. I don't know, guys. I think Mocha might be on a duck catch chain. Oh, that's not where the silver razes are. <laughs> it's up north. I've I've made that mistake too, actually. Um, yeah, uh, Mocha it, going back. Well, yeah. But the ponies probably despawned by now, so hopefully... Yeah, no, can't do that one. New one. Oh no, is Mocha gonna pony miss? Oh, that's not oh, good. No. You can ride Rhyhorn all the way to the end, it is not advisable. There's another option. Well, we need if, the... uh, if he knows oh, what he's is skipping it. the pony. Oh no. Oh. Oh, there is the backup silver and silver razes. Those are grabbed in uh, Diploma AOP. So there is another option that uh, Mocha could uh, go for. I don't I'm... see it marked on their tracker yet, though. I don't. I don't. I don't think he's doing it. But we'll see if he just goes and he, he chooses for it. Now is the best time to get it. Well, after. You yeah, get it. this would be the time you go for it. If well, there is a time, it's now. But we'll see. Think, so. That's so unfortunate because Sandy Star is, Sandy Star is very is good. Sandy Star Ooh. is fast. Wow, oh, Sandy Star is amazing. Yeah. Really good stars for Etching and Sandy. Nice uh, Rapidash sync, actually, <laughs> funnily enough. Look at that. Um, I, I'm really sad because there was a pony on Mocha's screen. I think I think he just missed it. That's so bad. Unfortunate. Look at those synced ponies. So beautiful. Synced ponies. as well. Also, I just realized that Etchy had a sub two Blaine. That's not bad. Etchy is a minute behind PB right now. Oh no, now. he's behind. But yeah, yeah, doing really well. Like a sub two Blaine in a race is just really good. Yes. Uh, Forty-four poke count, which means basically on three three zero pace. Yeah. No, that's that's pretty decent. That's a good time. I think you're gonna need a time like that for the tournament. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Never, oh, all right. Tracker just. No, that I don't know if any y'all saw that. Out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's fine. We can dismiss the tracker now. We know what they all need at this point. But uh. I mean, once they all hit, I was the, the Koga trainer. Yeah, Milk is sorry, just gonna go straight to get to the star. Yeah, I think. Uh, what's going on? on? Okay, there. Yeah, flying out. Sandy is uh, da 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 da. Sandy something. can turn around. Oh, oh, okay. There goes that Magmar. Hey, did you all know that uh, in German, Magmar's name is Boober? Is it actually? Yeah. Okay. Did you not Very know well. that? <laughs> anyway. I know this. Um, hey, look a star. Let's see if uh, we can find out what star, star is. is. 1032. 1032. Yeah. Below average, but I'm not using the okay. Ultra Balls. Oh, there it is. There's the Ultra Balls. You were saying? <laughs> a bit late for that, but it works Sandy's out, I guess. Popping and weaving through Surge's gym, getting those back. Oh, look! That 
First try oh, can. Wow. Let's go. Wow. Oh, man. First try double can. What are the Let's odds? Uh, I think the odds easy. are 100%, actually. <laughs> it's just that easy. It, it only took, Bad like, gen. four remakes of the gen for it to be, like, good. Yeah, Gen 1 and Gen 3 runners are just upset right now. They cry every time, yeah. Alright, so Mocha is going to get the Tentacool. I'm just going to quickly peek uh, Mocha's tracker just to see what what he's got planned. Uh... Yeah, no, that is 50 planned, actually. Okay. It's 50 planned, yeah. He, he yep. He's going to make it, um, hopefully. Not going to have any fun rides, but... It's like no. he's just gonna no. go, go with the flow. So, Etchy is done with Surge. Uh, the fight's free. There's not and much now to we're talk gonna get about. Into the boring part of the game. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, Randall. Actually, I got a question for you. Uh, yeah. We were talking about um, things in this game that are scams, and there's a lot of them. There's so many of them. Most of it's a scam. But can you tell me three things that aren't scams in Pokemon Let's Go? All right, challenge mode has uh, begun. Uh, oh, totally. Let's see what Mocha Let, come on, here. give me three. Hang on, I'm stalling for time. I'm, I want to see what Mocha's got planned. Uh, I'm, I'm. Oh gosh, Mocha's having a little bit of tr trouble deciding. Honestly, you could just ride Starmie. <laughs> just for fun. Oh. Yeah. It is. It's apparently actually like an okay ride. I, it's, I it's personally don't believe it, but I haven't seen it in a long time. Uh, okay, this Star star's kind not of bad. It's fast. It's good enough. It'll get the job done. Uh, as for things anyway. that are not scams, oh uh, gosh. Because we're kind of hitting a little bit of downtime now, uh, as long as Edgy yeah, doesn't do use the self scope. Uh, things that are not scams. Number one, I'm going to say uh, raspberries are not a scam. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you're not Kerbis, so you don't think that um, raspberries are scams. Uh, yeah. Number two. Whoa! I am a scam. <laughs> what? I mean, that's JT. Yeah, what? Yeah. The heck? I don't know. Yeah, sometimes. All right. Well, okay. That's Second one. thing that is not a scam. I'm gonna say X items. Uh, they are cheap oh, yeah. as heck in this game, and they also give two stages, two two stat boosts at a time. Uh -huh. And yeah, I don't. I don't Pretty see good. much more. Yeah, they're, they're cheap and third they're thing. useful. Do I really have to give a third thing? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I, I asked I'm gonna, you a question. You should try answering it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna like think about it a little bit. Uh, Come on, chat. Help see. him out. What, what, what's a, what's something that isn't a scam? And let's go. Help me out. Yeah. Let's let's just crowd score us this third thing. While Etchy's making his way through Erica's gym and Sandy's doing the quiz and. We're, we're getting and some slideshows. Is, uh, slide showing through and heading Edgy's into the mansion. Hmm. Edgy's plot armor. Uh, is that a scam? Is that kind of it's a It's not a scam right now, but it will be. I'm... It will be. Madame Celadon. I don't even who, know who that is. Who even is, is that at a kid? I don't even know who that is. We're not AOP or I can't Lord comment on, on whether or not Madame Celadon is a scam or not. Oh, the nature is that her name? She's a scam. Maybe. She costs 10,000 Poké Dollars. Yeah, she's definitely a scam. She could do that for like 200 bucks. Way less. Way costs less. 500 bucks. The nature does not cost 10k. I'm just gonna say Magikarp that. is not a scam either. That that's a steal. Can run without it? I can. Yeah. And, if you have a, if you're and in apparently task, it's not that bad. You can just get lost without setting the nature. Come on. Uh, Magikarp. Actually, yeah. You know what? That is true. That is not a scam. The game likes to think it's a scam, but I I disagree. Yeah, the, so in, I the game that. scams itself, but you know what? It's okay. Yeah. We don't mind that. Yeah, Especially really, as that's the game you need are broke as heck. Re really? Uh, Madame Celadon is a weak name. Let's be real. That's not a good name. She could have called herself anything else. Yeah, I think... In a game with baddie bad? Madame Celadon <laughs> is somehow the worst name in the game. Somehow. Somehow, baddie bad is not the dumbest name in the game. Like, that is sad. <laughs> it's true. 
Yeah, anyway, but James um, got a bad Magikarp because it wouldn't listen to him when it evolved. So, you know, in the anime, Magikarp kind of a scam. Oh yeah, no. In the animes, uh, Magikarp's a huge scam. And this game does take a little bit from the anime. Because uh, it is like loosely based off of Pokemon Yellow, which was in turn loosely based off of... Oh, nice Magmar. Uh, oh, good was going for the Magmar. Based off of that. The... What did I, I already lost my train of thought. Let's see what. Let's see how this uh, magma goes. I hope well, because we could all use a nice little magma in our lives. Oh, Come, stop jumping! Attack, Come on, please. There you go. Right, chill out, magma. Okay, nice. the axe. Yeah, That's good. Let's go. Lovely. Yeah, the fun thing about Magmar is that on an upcoming fight where you actually fight Blue, you can use Magmar to um, either use Fire Fire Punch or Flamethrower. They'll both KO the Pokémon that we have to use a second Pokémon for. That's pretty big. Um, but I don't know if Mocha is aware of the strats. We might not get to see it, but we got to I see I mean, he just needs to. He has Dodrio. It's true, he does. So he's good to go. Uh... All right, In fact, I he think... needs that party space, actually. Actually, so speaking of blue, Etchy's coming up to that fight right now. Yep. And we're gonna watch that. Uh, so the Pokémon that, that causes a problem for Starmie, the only Pokémon in the game that is a problem for Starmie, is Exeggutor. It's, uh, it's a grass psychic type, and that's exactly what you don't want to see. That Our coverage is bad against that. So, we no, thankfully have good. a couple options. We have a Dodrio that can drill peck it away, or we have uh, Rapidash that can fire blast it away. Fire blast is 85% accurate, so the Dodrio is better, uh, but, so some, but that's time loss Rapidash. sometimes. Actually, I don't uh, really know. I don't know what Etchy has in slot 2. Uh, I've uh, seen now that Etchy didn't not... evolve Doduo, uh, so I guess we're Rapidash. There's a couple of other uh, options, but uh, generally it's usually just Rapidash, Dodrio. Those are the most common things that you're going to get at this stage in the game on basically any run. Meanwhile, uh, so got the cans in one try. Amazing. We'll see what happens. And the hit. And Etchy just gets it. Because he's, he's, he's it's just that cool. easy. Just be Etchy, right? Gee, etchy plot armor is real. Yeah, I wish it wasn't. It will be I was a scam. It wouldn't be, and then he got a Pidgey first thing on Route 17. So. Oh no, Mocha, you're screwed. Okay. It's okay. Mocha's been mostly through it. I say that and then it freezes again. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, freeing up the party space to just go ahead and get everything else that needs to evolve. Uh, should be fine. Yeah, no, definitely fine on getting them to actually evolve. Is that a ditto? No, that's a Rattata, isn't it? It's a Rattata. From that just angle, it kind of looked like a ditto on the freeze frame. And now Etchy is going into possibly the worst fight in the entire game. Um, the slowest is, fight in the game. Uh, this is Archer homies 2. Hate Archer 2. All my All right. homies hate Put Archer yourselves 2. into bed. Get yourself settled in. Uh, this first turn is going to take a couple of years. Uh, the best fight possible, which is three turns, is in a minute and 46 seconds. It's great. Let's see what Etchy gets. The, we want to see self-destruct from the Electrode regardless. We prefer that Muck didn't protect, but we could work with protect. No protect is all that really matters. You prefer no protect, but if we don't if we don't get it, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. And... Any time now, game. Come on. Uh, oh, okay. oh, that's yeah. the worst possible outcome. That oh, gosh. actually works. That is very bad. Getting paralyzed is bad. Um, this uh, so is that is uh, that is Dodrio for Echi. We could hit there for the there keep on. Okay. Now he just has to not die, because unfortunately, if you get stuck in a Thunderbolt loop, you just have to keep killing Starmie, and he's only got three Super Potions left. Oh gosh. Well. That's fine. Uh, no, but you're not going to. You can't get three Thunderbolts in a in a row. Okay. Well, apparently, you can get another one. Oh okay. no. Strange decision making. Switch targets. Here. This is bad. Okay. This is fine. I mean, honestly, this it's really, is fine. It only you. really becomes a problem if this is another. Okay. See? Uh, nope, we're good. Okay, thank you, Trace, for doing something useful for somebody for once. Yep. 
Uh, yeah, so this is why this fight is terrible, uh, because we yeah, have a partner in this dude. fight. If we could 2C this ourselves, this fight would be uh, just like, this fight would be like a minute. At this point, having, it's fine if he dies, having yeah. Having a Marowak instead of a Cubone, it would be at least a little better. Oh my god. Oh, oh never oh, mind. Oh. <laughs> oh, power I, of love. That's two. Uh, that's two. Path of Legends. What is that? Oh my god, how? Pot armor. That's how. The pot armor, armor is it's so real. Forget acid armor, it's pot armor. Paralyzed and at 1 HP. Oh, there's still the Weezing left. I mean, yeah. I, just, yeah just we're just going, going for, for it. it. <laughs> to be fair, he, as long as he doesn't trade in like something that needs to evolve, this is, this is fine. He'll figure it out. See, oh. Easy game. Just hit through it. Just hit through it. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> All right, Sandy's gonna just kind of spam psychic, and Moga's gonna go and do the blind fight, and Edgy's just gonna like we're not gonna have anything to care about for a while. <laughs> there, Edgy. That was some amount of bad RNG. It's not all. Well, I say that, and then he lived on one. So it's it's plot armor. It's plot armor. That was wild. That was right. incredible. So Echi Echi needing three Pokemon left. We haven't talked about uh, how they're not actually at fifty yet. How they're going to get to the fifty oh, yeah. mark? Yeah. Uh, so he can evolve his tentacle. That's one thing. And then um, that that that's it. What do now? Help! 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 Yeah, that's that's actually only forty eight. Yeah, that's only forty eight. Oh no! We can't do what that. What will we do? Yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, getting through the quiz, and then... Sandy's just gonna kinda... head over to blue. Wait, this, this takes a little bit of time to get there, but... we'll be there shortly. Oh no, Ed, she still needs jellyfish. Okay. We need bigger jellyfish. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Tentacool cool takes a while to evolve. Yep. Should be should get it by the end of the Jesse and James fight. Sandy oh, yeah, going for Jesse the Dodrio no. version of the fight. The the slightly be, yeah. one, yeah. Not much reason to go for Fire Blast here, so just take the take the uh, free fight. Edda, we did see Mocha's star. It was like seventy six special attack and ninety speed. It was okay. Yeah, so, very yeah, fast. Yeah, just all the other stars, but not super good. But will function properly. It'll do. Yeah. Yeah, very sp very fe speedy. As long as you've got like, if you get ninety speed right when you get it, that's that's basically covered for the rest of the game. Fast enough. And it's not minimum special attack, so it's fine. It's close enough to the point where it is like actually kind of concerning, but. Like, There's a couple of things that'll be tricky, yeah, but it's not, like, bare minimum, so there won't be too much cringe, we hope. So, yeah, we're so actually gonna... starting the final J&J &J fight. Uh, this fight is significantly easier than every other J&J &J fight we do, because uh, we have Starmie, and uh, Starmie just kind of steamrolls this. Arbok hey, and Weezing, they haven't really leveled up since the last time we saw them. So, it's just going to be pretty quick and easy. Yeah, this fight sequentially, like, is supposed to be after we do uh, Hideout. Or, sorry, after Tower. But uh, the interesting way that this game works is that the kind of HM moves are not gated behind badges. So as soon as you have Chop Down, you can go anywhere in the region. Yeah, it um, makes this run so cool, because imagine yeah. if you had to beat Koga to get Surf. Oh, it'd be so miserable. It'd be awful. You'd be like, I, I don't even know what you'd run, because you couldn't run Kabutops. Uh, uh, you'd probably... Honestly, you'd probably just go get Zapdos. No. You know what? That makes sense. Not. Yeah, I think you'd just go get Zapdos. I think you'd just do I Silph Tower, you... grab the Master Ball, and just go get Zapdos. Or even, um, I think if you beat five gems, you can unlock Ultra Balls, and I think you just go that way. It's four ball, four gems, but... Is it four no, gems? It is, yeah. We just... 
Anyway, yeah, so like Sai J said, we're about to get a Master Ball on Edge's screen. Um, because we're gonna save the we're gonna save the Pokemon Silphco guy. Go go Silphco guy. Is he named? I don't think he's named. Uh I think Oh he's you do need Surf for Zapdos, mm. never mind, you can you couldn't do Zapdos. <laughs> oh you're right. Gosh. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. We sure did work all day. <laughs> uh, Sandy's going Can to the even... We'd probably run Dodrio, maybe Moth. Actually, both those are pretty good. Moth sounds okay, actually. I'd be down for a Venomoth. Don't actually do that. I I like this run. It's good. So, yeah. Yeah, so Why actually getting this Master Ball will actually help him, because uh, he's only at 48 right now. Yeah, but well, oh, yeah. he needs one more catch. Yeah, he needs one more. more. And we're running out of time. Oh, there's a backup Moonstone he can get to evolve the Jigglypuff. That's true. That's oh. true. It's a good thing he caught one. Yeah. So, yeah. So Sandy's gonna does. do the, the Archer fight. Oh yeah, let's go see what Archer goes. Come on. Alright, let's see how protect. Sandy gets through this. I hope better than Edgy. Alright, good night everybody. Let's see what happens in a uh, few years. Wake me up for my slumber. Self-destruct, uh, protect. That's okay. That's all right. That's not great. That's not good, actually. <laughs> but it. But it's fine. I, Electrodes off the board. Bad. I think. Uh, I think this is an okay version. Yeah, okay. this this one's fine. This is acceptable. You just want to kill the muck as fast as possible because it has minimize. Yeah. yeah. It's a so mostly it's, safe. As long thing. as it as long as it doesn't um, minimize turn one, which it can't. If it, it well. Doesn't help. Yeah. Goodbye, muck. Yeah, if you've never run this game at home, you might think the Electrode is, like, the biggest threat there. Uh, the Electrode will blow up at some point. Uh, hey, the Muck actually has minimized. Weezing... And... Did you know that Weezing had Dark Pulse? It does. Yes, it does have Dark Pulse. I have gotten yeah. that before. Yeah. Uh, Weezing and Arbok. Or not Arbok. Actually, probably Arbok as well. Wait, no. What am I talking about? No. Weezing no. and uh, Golbat. Golbat both have Dark-type moves. Oh. Yeah. Crunch yeah, Golbat is Crunch, I believe. Oh, well, Sucker Punch not tagging Starmie there is really good, so there's a chance this fight ends here. Yeah, um, I think... It's gonna... There's a chance. I don't know if yeah, chance. but... Oh! It's that's fine. good! Everything's oh, so fine. Going. All right, what do you want to do, Cubone? All right, come on, Trace. It's all up to you. Yeah, let's, let's go! go. Thanks, Trace. You're actually oh, so, uh, this time. By the way, Etchy just got a free Lapras. So yeah, the last oh. two Pokemon. Are, yeah, the last two Pokemon oh. are gift Pokemon. Oh, they're gift Pokemon. Yeah. So we just Whoa. get a Master Ball for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. No, hey, the Master Ball doesn't help. If you're low on catches, maybe you can use it to Master Ball a Venomoth or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I have Master Balled a Psyduck before. So has I, um, uh, the GDQ run. Yes, I had to get also Master Ball to sign up. It's such a good moment. Yeah. I've just Master Balled basically Moltres or maybe Articuno. And that's about it. Uh, that is the only Pokemon I kept from that run, actually, was the uh, the Psyduck and a Master Ball. That's currently sitting that's in my beautiful. Pokemon home. Yep. That's beautiful. I've never got a Shiny in Let's Go. Unless it's... Really? No, I haven't. It was the only one I've ever seen is that one in my race from last year where it was a shiny Paris that I didn't care about. You still have that side of etiquette? That's so cute. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Worth amazing. Uh, the yeah. most shinies I've seen in a run is two, and I caught both of them. It was a Ghastly and a, uh, a Caterpie. That's very cool. That run Big was shot the menu. That run was awful. Energy. He's buying the Expedef, so he's going for fast strats. There, um, last year we ended up developing some really cool um, marathon or race safe strats for the Elite Four, and they're not even that much slower, actually, which is really cool. But Etchy's going hard. He's going to try and get the best time as possible. What is this shopping menu? <laughs> All right, bit of a strange menu there, but works out. Yeah, it's the final shop of the run as well. Uh, we'll be buying everything we need for the rest of the game. Uh, we will use almost all of those X special attacks as well. Yeah, so this is also the last uh, gym requirement, uh, or the second to last gym requirement. Uh, Ooh, that Sandy matters. Again. Yeah, we'll on to yes, the other one is just have seven badges. I think. Yep. 
Yeah, the gym requirements, four of them are completed via story stuff, and the other four are things you actually have to do. Which four are sort of story stuff? I'm coming up empty. Uh, so There's the story Blaine, ones are Geo. Surge, Blaine, Geo, and... Uh, Surge, Blaine, Geo. I think you're lying to me. No, uh, yeah, it is three. Sorry, you're right. It was three. <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> oh, I okay. count Sabrina. Oh no, uh, um, uh, Erica. Erica's, st uh, Erica well, just wants you to show her a cute Pokemon, and every that's Pokemon. That's true. If you show her a Grimer, she kicks you out. That's not true. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you can st you can show Erica's gym guard basically anything. Yeah, all, all Pokemon sure. are adorable. Everybody in chat, all Pokemon are adorable. It doesn't even have to be alive. It can be fainted and still cute. Which I don't really understand it, but you know what? It is fine. It's cute and passed out. That's all. Okay. Uh, I don't agree with Brock just being adorable. It's, no, it's I don't gross. agree with that one either. I also don't like Chimchar. Chimchar's not adorable. Okay. Uh, all right. Interesting. Oh, uh, Mocha. Okay. Glare meow. Feel it. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what? Fair. I'll give that one to you. He's fluffy though. Is he? Glare meow. He's just fluffy. He's got a big beard. I guess beard. he does have a pretty, pretty big beard. All right, so Echi's doing the Sabrina fight, kind of a standard fight from the looks of it. Where you get the light screen, uh, and you just kind of okay. upset him through it. E Echi's just, you know, nervous. His finger slipped on the controller. Did Echi just get light screen? Oh no, okay, okay. No, no he did not. He did not. I, I missed the light screen setup turn. Okay. Yeah, no, Echi was about to switch Pokemon. You know, not advisable, but he can do what he wants. I just want to set up. Hmm. Alright, so... Just gonna finish the fight off. Uh, Fanny's also finishing their fight. Mocha's heading over to blue. Yeah, which um, I think Let's go through. Mocha's uh, just gonna use Dodrio, right? Yeah, yeah. It'd be Dodrio, yeah. Yeah. Kill this Jinx and everything's gonna be fine, right? Right. Yep, Edgy's just gonna level up to 48. So, huge menu coming up here as well. Yes, big menu. Uh, Probably the big 27 one the special the attack is very solid to see at this stage in the game. Yeah. Nice tail slap on the Pika there. Uh, Sandy's going to 4 6. Uh, not Usually where you go, but just gonna take the stairs to go correct to that and go to floor seven. And then Mocha's just gonna go ahead and destroy that Exagutor. And then big menu for Rachi. Uh there's the hyper potion. Not, not the the party. I don't think. Nah, no re- nope. Usually, Rapidash is just full HP at this stage. Uh, one thing oh, we didn't yeah. really know mention was that uh, Jesse and James sludge-bombed the Rapidash. Yeah. So, no damage on Starmie. Uh, it is kind of inconvenient if Rapidash does get poisoned, though, but didn't even get that. It's all fun. And Moke is heading on over to Archer. Oh boy, let's look at this. Hopefully it goes better than Edgy's. Edgy, by the way, is getting, uh, teeth. Early teeth. Early teeth. I wonder why we need these golden teeth. Yeah, just... The player character doesn't talk, so like I don't know why we need teeth for that, but it's yeah, fine. I'm gonna... gonna... Oh well. We don't even have a sandwich in this game to eat or anything like that. No, it's so, not Gabby. We'll see what happens, but we're heading into Koga's right, gym. So did yeah. Echi get 50 Pokemon? He did! He did. Good job, Echi. You did it. Now, you can, now, we can, now we can ignore his, cat, his catch count for the rest of the game. Yeah, so... Pretty cool design, but it's also just super laggy as soon as any of those dust, like, the smoke thingies show up. 
Yeah. Uh, there's invisible walls, but the smoke kind of gives it away every now and then. Kind and of now she's going to fight the real boss of Koga's gym, and that's Caden. Caden can yeah, be very. This annoying. is the real hard fight. Yeah, yeah this so... fight is miserable. Yeah, do you want this fight can go one of two ways? It's either like three turns or like twenty six. Sorry, tell us about Caden. So Caden, uh, all the uh, also all the Pokemon in this gym have really weird move sets. Um, uh, Etchy, of course, gets the perfect fight because he has plot armor. But um, this muck knows like minimize and moon blast randomly. Uh, um, yeah, uh, you can drop your special attack. It can minimize. Uh, and actually just gets the perfect Hayden fight. Like I just wanted to interrupt y'all. What the heck's going on on Mocha's screen? <laughs> I think Cubone got double targeted. That's fine. Yeah. Also, wait, the muck didn't die. Huh? This is uh, odd. At this point, I almost would want to kill the wheezing. Also, you can, I, can, can, I just, oh, yeah. can I just point out that Menace. our rival uh, who we do this fight with has a Raichu and chooses to lead the Cubone? Uh, did, did he misclick? Did, did Mocha misclick? I think he just psychicked the electrode, and then Muck got and minimized off. That's my guess. Oh, uh, no. That's what I th think. What? Oh, oh, this knows toxic. Yeah, it's bad, man. Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> you don't. You, there's a reason you got to get rid of that Muck. Uh. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you have to kill the Muck immediately. You do, uh, but I think I think it got him minimized. It knows protect be... too. I know that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is. Yeah, Etik Etik it's gonna look at what happened because. Yeah. yeah. Do we? It. Does Mocha still have uh, the revives? We have like yeah. three revives uh, for free. It's not yeah, worth reviving. Gonna... In... Sure. Uh... You just die again. So it's like whatever. I mean, it depends. Oh, well, this Muck is at plus six evasion. Oh, Mocha got I've seen it do it at least as... twice. Mocha got fully oh. That's the problem. Oh, okay. Mm. Awesome. Alright, anyway, okay, so we got rid of losing. Uh, so I believe we've see. actually defeated Archer. No, there's still Golbat, right? Yeah, there's still Golbat. Okay, yeah, yeah the Golbat's still there. Raichu might just handle it. Uh, Antidote's... I, I so, mean, it, here's, here's a fun it's fact. Option, it's just gonna get poisoned again. Um, if you are in facing Minimize, and it sucks, there is a move that can save you, and that move is Stomp. Uh, yes, stomp, uh, stomp, stomp on Rapidash or Roll Attack. Yeah, uh, but it also is known by Rhyhorn, um, I think. Um, yeah. which Mocha has. It does oh, that's it. right, right for, uh, Mocha did not get a uh, pony, so yes. I write you, low, um, I'm guessing this is Pidgeon. not yeah. good for everyone that's watching this band. Uh, all right. Okay, We so... still have the Rapidash to go through, too. Yeah. Um, or not the Rapidash, the Raticate. Sorry, yeah, the Raticate, yes. Even, even Trace might just kill it. Yep, there's the poison again. At this point, Mocha might as well just start spamming other moves, but like, eh, there's still some psychics left to go. Well, Mocha's yeah. new to the game, so... It, oh, there it is. It. Okay. Oh, Alright. The, the, right, the muck is dead. Actually, well, <laughs> take down. Oh, gosh. I forgot We've about that. We've defeated the muck. Hey, now we just gotta do this, uh... It's fine. Trace can help us out. Gonna need a helping hand from Pidgeot, because Stormy's about to die. Yeah. Can we tank a... Oh, okay, no, it was in quick no, attack range. Can't. Quick attack! We can't, yeah, we can't it was in quick attack range. Time. I was like, can we tank a sucker punch? Like, no, no we were just in quick attack know. range. Go, if we could attack we were not. We were, we were in Dojo, sucker punch range. Go. Oh, oh, Dojo, I feel, go. I feel bad because poor Mocha's new and doesn't know what to do when this happens. You can you can just do whatever. It's okay. Yeah, at, at this point, it's fine. Um, the experience will be slightly messy on Starmie, but you can just candy after Caden. You can just candy and that after will fix Caden, it. And that will mostly be that fine. will that like, will fix the experience. Um, honestly, I would just bring out Dodrio and just drill peck it to death. Dodrio, come on, you got this. We, I think we have to wait for this. What's going on with Mocha here? Are they just shatter paused? I'm. I have a guess, and I hope it's not that. 
I hope. Well, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at the chat, looking to see if anything. Um, happens. So, uh, for the person in chat asking, um, you actually get a free full heal after this fight. So everything in your so party gets so. healed after this fight. Um, um, really doesn't know that. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. If uh, I were. Reason, this has never happened to Mocha before, and they're pretty new to the game. Um, yeah. But as so, uh, they're probably just like, I don't know what to do right now. Um, yeah, I would just bring in the valid. like. Yeah, uh, I think you just bring in the. Yeah. Okay. Was... The the Dodrio and just go for it. Yeah. So according to Fury, it looks like that's going to be a DNF. Oh, that's. You did really yeah, good, shame. Mocha. Very, uh, very good geez. run, Mocha. You, that was a great run, and you just got archered. People get archered every day. People get archered all the time. Stop archering now. Do your part or something. I don't know. Uh, but let's see. Caden for Sandy, and then Tamer Cole is a free fight for Achi, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, hey, we have the two player layout. And Eevee oh, runners have been yes, a two player layout. Out. There go the Eevee runners. I'm sure Randall's very happy about that part. No, not about not no, about, how it, happened. Not it, about but... how it happened. Not about how it happened because that was that's super unfortunate. All right, don't and do it. No. Sucks. Okay, Kaden, where are you at? Or Fury, where are you at? My bad. All right, so Sandy's just gonna pull out Rapidash. I think that's fine, honestly. Stomp doesn't do a whole lot of damage if needed, but it's gonna hit. Yep, there we go. That's a really, really good point from from you. So if you or a loved one has been archered, you might be entitled to financial compensation. Oh yeah. Oh, actually going for the one yeah. controller, Samuel here. Oh, but Etchy, you don't have to. <laughs> you Why not? You don't have to. <laughs> Etchy just is going for one controller, Samuel. Just cause, you know. Also, yes, stomp strats go hard. I love that stomp strats are a thing because. Uh, if you if you get cadened or if you get just mucked in general, there's a way through it. Yep. Yeah. Stomp is still really slow if you actually need to use it, but well, Santa just got through anyways. And so just get your so pumps. Hard. That's uh, that's that's. Also, uh, dear beef not... folks, I gotta feed my cat. He will not stop yelling. Definitely. Uh, feed me looking around for the. There you go. There we go. And then, oh, uh, okay. uh, uh, nope, little, little up. There you go. Uh, oh. And then around the guy. Oh, and okay. All right. Last hiccup done. All right, so Edgy's heading on over to the Giovanni fight. Looks like he's just going to 1C the fight, kind of most likely. He's going for Sub Kerbis. Okay. Just at the, the grudge match between Echi and Kerbis, the rivalry continues even after three years. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, that's it's all good. All right, uh, Sandy starting the Koga fight. So this fight is uh, right, turn one protect, here. and I think we're good from there. And Sandy's actually going for the ranges. Um, I don't know what their special attack is, so I don't know it's if... It's basically the same as Echi's. I think it's uh, okay, like then later, um, later, actually. And Sandy should be good to Scald, I think, everything in the gym, except... Not Muck, but that's it. Muck is a All right. All right, so Echi is fine. Yep, here we go. In red bar, which is kind of annoying, but uh, there is one level up coming up. And actually, he's he's had good enough HP. You know, it doesn't matter then. Has a good amount of HP if that counts as red bar at like 23, I think. But Sandy's through. Uh, Muck did not protect, so basically getting through that Koga fight with as few psychics as possible. So really good fight. And high five to Pika. We're through. And Echi apparently threw Giovanni at this point. We just gotta scald the Nito Yeah, clip. Mash yep. me. Excellent. Alright, now for the one of the more not great fights in the game is Rebel 5. Uh there was a time yeah, in this game where you could only one see. Yeah. 
That was bad. Yeah, those were dark days, but like they didn't last for long, so it doesn't matter. So it's, it's a stage in Let's Go history that uh, just doesn't exist. Can't hurry. Yep. But yeah, Sandy's getting strength now. Uh, this this Echi Giovanni cutscene, this one's a scam. Every time he wants to, like, every time you think he's gone, he's going to talk. It's true. Man, those spinny tiles would be so disorienting in real life. Oh, yeah. I feel like you just, like, throw up oh, after, yeah. like, touching, like, two of them. Probably. Oh, I see that Mocha's joined us. Hey, Mocha. GG's. Okay. Hey, that was, um, a run. That was yeah. a run. Though, I that will say, run. You, you did great for up until Archer decided to Archer you. Yeah, and also forgetting to sell my Pokeballs. I totally did not think I had enough money to to get the modest and had to go yeah. on the shop. <laughs> you wanted to yeah, figure out why you did that, it made a lot of sense. But yeah, that was... Honestly, for someone who's as new to the game as you are, you did really good. Uh, so yes, absolutely. Keep that in mind for for further rounds, please. Uh, and yeah, I'm sorry. I I did see a pony spawn on your screen, and you w walked right away from it. Yeah, was that the I top of the screen? It. And grab, like, it was the at the top of the screen. Oh, yeah. That's, no, it's that's yeah. So bad. Round seven seems super it, hard it to pay attention to and find it stuff. It really is. It really is. But you <laughs> still. Absolutely GG's, and I can't wait to see your next round of race. You're gonna, you were like on 315 pace, which is fantastic. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. You've it been was... doing a lot of improving, and oh, yeah, it's only gonna continue. So, you're going, you're gonna be fine. And, uh, okay, oh, oh, with a what? psychic on the Marowak at plus two. That's well, I love did it actually not KO the play. Marowak? He did. No. I didn't realize yeah, his special not, attack was that bad. What? <laughs> no, no, he's not a plus four. You can miss this range. It's not, not a plus range. Four? He's at plus two. He's pumping the oh. uh, on. And I don't know or how he that. Or he just said, "Oh, I lose." So there's Never that. Mind. Okay, boring. Pen oh. Pens, well, all right. Well, Sandy is just entering Giovanni's oh. gym, so maybe he's still comfortably ahead. But uh, what he's is he doing? Ahead, but yeah, maybe... what is he doing? That that happened. Uh, oops. See, even world record holders can make mistakes. All right, Kerbis yep. Kerbis is, is probably safe um... now. So, <laughs> Edgy, what are you doing? <laughs> She, what, what are you doing? Are you doing? <laughs> that was a great moment from last. Oh my picture. gosh! Yes, yes it was. was. Places. Actually, no, that makes sense. Actually, that's where that's you last entered the Pokemon Center. Yes. So, thanks. Uh, thanks. This game. Uh, just to point out, I did some research into this game. This game has some really weird, like, spawn points. Um, I know there was a discussion about like death warping after the SSN. Um, you you just get sent back to Vermilion, even though you've never entered the Pokemon Center there. Really? Okay, this game is a scam. Yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> this game um, makes no scam. sense sometimes. And a half. That is stupid. Sandy doing the... <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> I, I, think, uh, me, I know me and Etiquette looked into it. It was so dumb when we figured it out. You just made Etiquette so mad. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, round two. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if Etchy wants to like plus two psychic uh, marijuana again. Maybe if Etchy like read his notes, that might help. I don't know. That might be a thing he doesn't do anymore. But who knows? Oh, let's see. Let's see what he does here. What? What are we? What are we using? What are we using today? Oh, we're using Scald. He's learned. All right. Yeah, because you're always supposed to X speed turn two. I know that much. Um, so I guess he was only a plus two when this happened last time. Yeah. And he it... clicked Psychic instead of Scald? Yep. Ah, okay. Still almost killed, actually, because he does have a lot of special attack, but yeah. didn't actually get the kill, and it just murdered Rapidash. And that made the fight a whole lot worse. Yeah, but... We're, we're now okay. We're doing okay. 
Also, Etchi's just kind of saved a bunch of psychics. Ooh. Not that Sandy the psychic is going for matters. safe Giovanni strats. Um, yeah, they just, they just have a second place locked in. Or well, that's actually not even true. There's the chance at first, but as she's kind of going to have to throw really hard. Sandy Sandy could do it if Etchi threw a little bit, and you know you know Etchi might throw. He's he's thrown the game before. He's thrown balls. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Doug Trio. Gonna spam Earthquake. Well, actually, I think there's a chance at some random moves, but like being realistic, it's going to be Earthquake. Yeah. Um. Typically, uh, Doug Trio is going to try and kill the Rapidash, which is why you summon Rapidash in the second controller slot. Uh, but that gives you enough time to set up your Starmie, and you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Rapidash right. toughed it out so you wouldn't worry. No, that's not what we want. Well, never, Sandy's never just going to be able to game. heal never and spam a bunch of healing items now. So uh, there is hey, like, a silver lining. It's still slower, but... Hey, Randall, there yeah. is a question yeah. in chat that I don't know the answer to, and that's about the Swiss um, second place median time thing. Are you able yeah. to give us some clarity so, on that? Uh, so with the way that the points are scored, uh, first place in... So generally, we're going to mostly have uh, 1v1v1s. Uh, there, there is one uh, 1v1 race that's going to happen this round, but heading forward, it's probably just going to be a bunch of three-way races. Uh, with the way they're scored, um, every time you win, you get three points. Uh, so, assuming we don't have anything crazy happen, that would be actually getting three points off of this race. Uh, if you get uh, third place, you don't get any points. Sorry, Mocha. Uh, assuming uh, Etchi and Sandy both finish, and then whoever who gets second place would uh, have a chance at two points, uh, but are, they would be guaranteed one point. Uh, the idea being that is Etchi wants to see Naomi. Uh, pause that bot. Etchi, what are you doing? Etchi, are we really want seeing this? Etchi, right now? In this economy? This, 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 fight, this is one of the scariest fights in the game to one controller. Uh, Look entirely with an edgy switch. All right, hit, I guess. Oh, oh god. That easy? Oh, and we got the defense uh, drop, just too. Just hit it, man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where did the plot edgy? armor go? Oh, edgy? Edgy? Where did the plot armor go? Oh, god. Edgy? Edgy? <laughs> edgy? 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 So, in, in Edgy's Discord this morning, Sandy jokingly said, hey, can you throw? Um, and I think you might be. Edgy? Edgy? Wait, are we... Generally, you don't see people once see this fight, but, uh, okay. Yeah, are we... Are Choice? we still in this? Sandy? No, it's... Sandy? Okay. Okay, I, does Hydro Pump get it from this range? Should be fine, yeah. I hope so. Actually, no. No. Oh. Yeah, well, we can take a crunch, so we're fine. Oh, it's stuck in outrage. This is, yeah, this is strange. Which is this is this is weird? What's going on? Help! Oh no, it just ended its outrage. Oh, it doesn't matter. We oh. killed the king. Well, okay, okay we it's fine. Him. He's still All right, it doesn't matter. Anymore. Really strange quirk that uh, actually has to like select moves on his second controller and then mash text with his first. I just wanted yeah. to point that out. But uh, yeah, Echi is kind of, uh, he's having a, he's doing a little bit of happy gaming right now, because apparently, apparently. sub is not happening. So uh, yeah, just have some fun, I guess. Yeah, Echi was like, I can't PB, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dur dirtle tee -hee. Just, just gonna go for it. Yeah, yeah I, don't think, I don't think now. that Echi's getting a record. Called the... There we go, Sandy See, learned from Echi. That's how you're supposed to do that fight. Also, he's talking to Rapidash. Rapidash deserves more love, it's true. Yeah, so, uh, oh gosh. What is going on? What are we doing out here? I don't uh, know. So, actually, he's not doing so hot after Giovanni right now. But what happened is, like, um, all of the plot armor broke when Mocha oh, died. No, uh, no, oh, okay. I was expecting the pump from Etchy there. Uh, like, Etchy? After everything's done. No, puts his sleep no, as that's, normal. No, that's normal. That's, that's, that's the normal strat. 
Just so skip all here. Yeah, you go for T-Bolt if you can two-hit. If not, just scald it. Right. Uh, we also didn't mention, because uh, we were all interested in the, the Naomi fight, but uh, this category is called No Mount Skips. Um, the reason for that is because we found a bunch of ways to skip all these trainers that Echi's currently fighting. Yeah, and um, one of the people that really helped us do that was Sandy, so shoutouts to Sandy um, yes. for finding that really cool category. That saves, like, what, three minutes? Easy? Five minutes? Uh, I think yeah. it's a little more than that. I think it's like seven or eight. Oh. It's a lot, um, especially now yeah. that we've, um, they've changed yeah. it to Rad Padash as the mount. Yeah, you you skip uh, all the trainers that Echi's been fighting in the uh, Victory Road. You, you skip all right of here. all of them. You yeah, don't fight a single one of them right now. For anyone that was yep. asking in chat, the free heal is right after the juggler fight. Um, you just gotta push this boulder around awkwardly. Technically, Echi had another free heal earlier when he just died, but you know what? This is an actual We're free gonna... heal. Yeah, it's actually free. Yeah. Je Op Officer Jenny is just like, hey, you could use a heal. And you're like, yes, ab absolutely, yes, yes, I could. Please. How do you know? Wow. Wow, it's like I'm in the the penultimate dungeon. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, so right, coming one up more fight is, coming up uh, here. A lot of people's... Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, newer runners, uh, this is a very difficult trainer skip here. Yeah, Alexis. Oh, weird. Uh, you gotta get off your mount, hug right. the bottom wall, and you're through. Yep. Uh, really her, she is country. very, very blind, but she does have eagle eye if you just step into her vision. Just even a little bit, yeah. And now Edgy successfully pulled off Colby Skip and is now fighting Caroline, who uh, can be a jerk. So let's see what happens here. Alright. Yeah, you do not uh, want to fight loves Colby. Colby. Oh, it's time to pump one more time. And Sandy's also going to pump, actually, so it's going to be fun to see what happens yep. here. Oh! Almost synced. Oh, good night, Star. Oh, good night, Star. Let's and go. Oops, Sandy Naomi, lands. Oh. Naomi down for Sandy, or about to. Ooh, I told the first drop on. Uh, you really need to hit soon. Okay. There we go. Oh, he got the hydro pump though, so that cheese okay. plot armor is slowly coming back. I guess he he, you know, it broke a little bit, and now he's trying to build it back up. Still pretty awkward, but it's not the end of the world. Oops, psychicking the gold bat. A little bit too fast on trying to auto scroll there. A uh, little bit of tech that actually kind of messed up there. Yeah, if you well. if you load into that battle thingy and you're holding up or down, the game just like goes faster on going said direction. Uh, but if you do ma if you're just holding and mashing, you sometimes do mash when it only goes scrolls down once, and that's kind of what happened there. It's not the end of the world. Uh, not having that psychic. Uh, it is kind of annoying, but it will be perfectly okay. There's a couple of ways around it, and we'll see what Echi does. I don't actually know what he's going to do with that. Yeah, and actually, we're pushing this boulder 20 times, and then we're going to go and fight uh, uh, Pokemaniac Dawson, as I believe his name. Uh, Don Dawson was the first uh, the first person that we were able to realize that you could do mount skips on. Um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, he's just a fight in Victory Road. Speaking of fights, Sandy on the Hypno. Are you going to pump? No. Yeah, okay. Don't see why you would, so makes sense. Oh, you can two-shot this one. Sandy's got better special attack. Yeah. Actually, it has good enough special attack for the two-shot. Just really low rolled that first Thunderbolt. So I just had to Sculpt, but that's okay. What's really bad if, is if you don't have the special attack to go for the Thunderbolt range, yeah. two-shot range, and then you just Scald turn one into Burns, and you're just losing years off of your lifespan. Yeah, it's not not great. All right, let's see what Etchy does here. Does he get the dodge? Of course he does. <laughs> okay. Of course he okay. does. Okay. Uh, so the pot arm is back. back. Yep, <laughs> it's back. We're so back. Uh, uh, Sandy is... Okay, there you go, Sandy. Sandy's chilling. San Sandy's ready for when uh, Renenchi throws one more time. Yep. And we're heading into a section where it's a lot harder to actually deal with it if you do throw and wipe. So, uh, Sandy has an angle. Uh, sure. yeah. I don't really think it's going to happen, but like... I, mean, I don't know. Etchie's been doing some very uh, happy decisions. 
Okay, he's picking up. I think up. Sandy is going to be one of those sleeper, like, pot two dark horses. Um, and I think we need to be careful of underestimating Sandy for these future I think rounds. Pot two has some solid contenders. I think Sandy's I getting there. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's This is definitely a format that's going to heavily bias towards pot one, but. Yep. Uh, Sandy can basically become effectively pot one if Etchy just kind of throws. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's very possible. Uh, it, it's going to be... I, I will never discount Sandy in this tournament. I think that they can go real far if they get a good run. Th this was a bit awkward because um, Sandy uh, is in the process of moving, uh, and that's kind of demanding. So it's hard to yep. do a really good speed run while you're moving. So. Actually about to start the Elite Four. This yep. is the yeah. final gauntlet of trainers in the game. And Enchi is keeping Rapidash in the party, which tells me that he's probably going to be going for some amount of safe strats in the Elite Four. Uh, did anybody see if he got the full restore in Victory Road? Yeah, he did. Uh, so he's going to 1C Agatha, it looks okay, like. So he's going to 1C Agatha, but he might 2C yeah. Lance and Champ. Um, those who don't know, Enchi's very known for dying to Lance. He's died to yes. Lance a lot of times on uh, Die to Lance. A lot on world record pace. A lot on world record pace. Uh, so yeah. if he's gonna, I expect him to break up the two C on Lance uh, because I would absolutely. Yep. Would. Lance is notorious for ending Etchy's runs. Oh, very much. All right, Etchy's gonna set up to plus four and then just spam Thunderbolt. Well, not fully spam Thunderbolt. There, there are some actual moves to click, but for the first couple of pokes, it's just Thunderbolts. Sandy now oh, we were talking about things that are scams in this game. Uh, pushy push is a scam. For sure. Oh yeah, yeah no. Earlier gen, especially in the this. open areas where you just hop back on Rapidash and then have to do some movement and then hop off. Like I mean, that. you can try yeah. to just mash A, but then you just talk to Rapidash every now and then. Oh, missing the yeah. Lapras range. Oh, Ooh, just barely missing Lapras so. range too. But you know what isn't a scam? Uh, what? Is the friends who made the long way. You know what? You're right. I, I, I can Etchie get behind that one. Star is cheap. Pump. So so oh, um, all right, there we go. There's the pump hitting Jinx. Oh, this star oh, oh, oh. 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 Sandy, oh. Sandy, Sandy. Sandy. Sandy, what are we doing here? Sandy. <laughs> Sandy trying to style. Oh, you know? so close. Okay. So close. That's all right. Wait, that's some. That's some. Mount skip tech that Sandy was trying to get done there. Uh, close setup, but that's okay. We'll figure it yep. out for later rounds, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But yes, as she's through the fight, uh, let's see. Oh, he's leveling up early because of the small amount of experience he got from the the extra what rifle fight that he did. <laughs> the two mons that he took down. It does give a good amount of experience. Like you do. Well, well, let's see what actually wants to do. There's one thing I really want him to not do, and that's heal. Yeah, he's yes. not gonna. Let's, let's go. do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm getting a little too excited. It's not gonna happen, but it's fine. Yeah, no, this Onyx is gonna stealth rock, and then it's not even a question. Yeah, Earth, if you have two in party, quake, it just usually goes for it. Earthquake! 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 We just want Etchy to die because we're secretly rooting for Sandy. If we're not biased. Earthquake! No! Uh, well, and that's the end See, of that fight. I, I, I told you. <laughs> yeah, that's Chad. the end of that fight. <laughs> oh, nice broom to turn guns. Extra. Chad is mad that that happened. I'm with Chad, honestly. It would have been so cool. Extra stuff. There was an unclaimed faint bounty last year's tournament. Uh, so. Yeah, no one got it. No one got it. He, like, it. never faint goes for real, it. Okay, faint's not real. See? Faint, not real. So unreal. Not a real the thing. Common, they couldn't even say anything about it. Sandy gearing up to go to the Elite Four. We'll see if they keep anything in their party. Uh, normally, as like for 2C. Normally you don't have turnarounds on Bruno, but uh, Etchy's been kind of having a ball. So, He's been uh, having a time. 
Oh, oh, Oregon, no. What's this? Sandy's doing Lapras straps. Oh, something, something Sandy cooked up last year with a good friend of the tournament, Dino, is Lapras strats. So they're yes. bringing that out this year. Um, I don't know if y'all saw when the run started, but Sandy actually set their time for about 9.45. Um, the reason for that is that they're trying to get Modest to roll over at midnight, which would be right before you get the Lapras. They're trying to get a minus defense nature, so Lapras will die faster. Oh, right. that makes way more sense. That's, that's, that's actually the secret deck. It, yeah. It doesn't even matter, but like, it, it's it's a thing. It's, it's like, it doesn't necessarily okay. matter as long as the Starmie is Modest. Yeah, it's cute, is all I'm saying. It's a cool, yeah. cool little bit of tech that Sandy's trying out, and I think it's neat. And just like, uh, just like our starter in this game, the gift Pokemon have, uh, fixed IVs as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know what they are off the top of my head. They're, they're... like, fairly good. Crunch. They're, they're, they're pretty no good. Breakout. I don't remember our Lapras's, though. And there's uh -huh. the full restore. There you go, actually. There's the yep. full restore and Agatha. No, he should be straight up by now. And that is Agatha. Uh, we Agatha. hope. Now That's you can it. save a lot of time on Agatha by going awesome. for hydro pumps here. Randall, you have been told to watch Sandy's screen. Why? I don't. I don't know. That's I already know what's going to happen. <laughs> I think it's because uh, they're going to pump some stuff, maybe. Oh, we are oh, pumping. Uh, oh, the we the sure. Let's go. We are pumping. All right, you have my attention. <laughs> I don't That's think we're pumping all you this. Need to do to get Randall's attention. Yeah, no, we're not going to pump that. Is dare I yes. say oh, maybe, girl, you can't maybe pump. pump Agatha? Oh. Oh. Yes, this didn't come up earlier in the run because uh, our runners are good at the game, and uh, this didn't happen. But you may notice every time Etchy gets a super effective hit, that Starmie turns around to look at him. That wastes two seconds every time. Yeah. I so think we, we try to avoid bit, those as much as possible. We saw it a little bit on the Jesse and James fights for Edge and Sandy. Uh, Mocha was also getting them with like Blitzy Glow, but it was kind of bogged down in in a uh, slideshow hell, so we didn't really see it. Uh, let's see what Sandy gets here. Uh, uh, Sandy should be. Really I think Sandy here. should get Stealth Rock here. Oh no, Earthquake. Oh, earthquake. Um, that's not, well, not faint range, though. That's, no. yeah, it's like 30 HP. Faint does like 20 at most. Alright, Etchy going well, into the Etchy. Lance fight. So we'll see if he does two C strats. I think he will. Um, but notably, um, you don't usually start the fight with two C when you're doing Lance. Yes. Fight. You usually summon it partway through the fight. Yep, you usually set up the first X item, or and then the second X item as well, because uh, usually, uh, usually the first attack is Hyper Beam, so yes. you get a free turn. Not, not always though. I've actually seen a lot of Dragon Pulses lately. Let's see what Edgy wants to do here. I think he's just gonna set up. Maybe. Yep, set oh, up no, the X speed. Okay. Yep, yep Dragon, Dragon Pulse. Pulse. The, oh, this and easy. summon this summon this QC. This army has bad special defense. Jeez. It, it doesn't matter. Defense. Special defense is a joke. It doesn't matter, but yeah. All right, so Sandy's through their fight, uh, and then Etchy's just gonna close out the run with some pretty easy fights, especially with 2C, because 2C yeah. kind of makes trivializes almost every fight in the game anyways. So let's see how Sandy does. On Agatha? Oh, ooh, 2C, let's yeah. go. Into Agatha Sandy. Yeah. Interesting. Now, I'm questioning what the range is on this Dragonite. Oh, uh, what's the special uh, it's attack? It's going to be guaranteed, I'm pretty sure. I didn't see the stats. But I didn't see it either, because we, we leveled up hard. early. There's no way it's a range. Like, I'm like, both of them have really good special attack, so... I'm not expecting anything crazy uh, to happen here. Chat says it's guaranteed. I, I believe it. Okay, good. All right. I'm I'm Randall honestly kind of hoping being so that psychic. Rapidash always outspeeds the Dragonite bit, so much and it's Thunderbolts the Pidgeot. Right, right. But I'm not expecting that either. Uh, 
Lapras is going to gain some levels. Uh, Let's go, Lapras. Anyone can guess what that nature is. Um, I guess it's plus attack, actually. <laughs> that looks like I... a good amount of attack for a Lapras. Lapras is like a... It's like a mixed attacker, from what I remember. If it's not... Uh, I think it's a special attacker. It's, it's a special attacker. Weird, but with, like, Ice oh, Shard, I guess. Oh, it... Like, as far as, like, competitive movesets, it uses, like... What, what is it? Sheer Cold? <laughs> Like, is that the Oka move? <laughs> it is, yeah. 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 It's, it's oh my gosh, this is gonna go fight Professor Oak! Finally! After all Professor these years. We're gonna He's film. fightable. No. Oh. Well, not really. Now, we'll Personally, let you remember I, I, the I hope we get movie. some really strange Let's Go if we ever get another one. I really don't think we will. To be honest, but I want to get one. I don't think it's likely. Repel, the repel at the last second. Yeah. I go. I would love Let's Go Johto. Just more I Let's would, Go. I would love Let's Go Plusle and Let's Go My Noon. Honestly. Ooh, Let's Go Hoenn games would be cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. Let's Go Hoenn would make people mad, so I'd be fine with that. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Sandy's through Agatha as Edgy Starts Champ. Let's go. All right, so it's time for more 2 C's shenanigans on both sides. Uh, yep. They're yeah, one fight away. Oh my gosh. This, this champ fight is pretty safe. It's not 100% safe, but it's pretty safe. Yeah. Um, can Echi plus four the Jolteon? Oh yeah, there's Mega Evolution yeah. in this game, if That's you didn't cool. know. Oh my gosh, a Mega Pidgeot? What the Whoa. hell? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. oh, what? Imagine oh? actually. Are we gonna get the perfect fight? Time to power level quick attack. Come on, do it. That'd be hilarious. Do it. Oh, oh all right. All right. Well, the runs it. We're good. On yeah, that's Etchie's that's run. the end. Etchy is through the final boss. GG so. is Etchy. That's it. GG is Etchy. The hardest part of um, Champ is not getting crit by Air Slash, and that didn't happen, so we're okay. So Sandy's just gonna go ahead and do uh, the two C fight on Lance, and then. They'll be good to go. Edgy's I'm just gonna spam Psychic a couple of times. We'll like Thunderbolt the Slowbro. I'm saying will, but like he also like Psychic to Marowak and plus two. There's no. Yeah, shot. we'll see if Edgy miss clicks. I doubt it though. Uh, yeah. Kind of hard to mess think... it up when your curse is already on Psychic. <laughs> I think Sandy's getting some bad luck because I think you want to take some damage on Lapras at this point, but I see. You do damage. you want Lapras to be at a low enough HP yeah, to where wondering. like Quick Attack KOs it? Yeah, but it's clearly not there right now. So, no. oh well. Taking no damage on Lapras is also so just fast, so. Yeah, it, it's not bad. Like this is fine. It'll it'll stay alive the entire champ fight, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. It's cool. I I appreciate that Lapras chats are a thing. What's really cool is that Lapras gets Ice Shard. So if you have a range on Dragonite, no, you don't anymore. Ice Shard just yep. takes care of it. The extra level up from the experience from uh, the uh, what's its face. The rival fight from earlier. The rival fight, yeah, Usually yeah. you don't hit level 54. <laughs> Not anymore, though back in the past there was a time when you did. But yeah, there it is, Edgy's through champ. And that G -G is, first that is winner it for Edgy. Edgy. That is not time. Time is going to be no. in about a minute. Yep. Yeah, so 305, 34, uh, I believe. So pretty darn solid right, yeah. for the first time. And that's gonna be, yeah, a solid 305 uh, got in some for the first really time. strange uh got got to do some really strange things as well yeah Had not some um not a world record or a pb but you know it's okay still a very good time yeah and sandy's well on their way as well uh should yeah. be a 308 which is very solid 309 10 sandy 309. says uh yeah Probably makes sense for it to uh, be that a actually ties my PB, I believe, a three hundred nine ten. Very nice. Yeah, San Sandy's a monster. Don't count Sandy out. All right. So uh, if you've never seen around this game, time is on the fade out uh, after Why is this cut. So laggy. Here. Is it just this laggy usually? Yeah, a little bit. And time. All right, there it is. And time three hundred five thirty three for Etchy. Congrats. We'll see if. Uh, you know, after he's at a bathroom break, he jo joins us for a little victory interview.
as Sandy join starts up the Pidgeot. Uh, oh my gosh, it's gonna be Mega. No way. No way. No way. <gasps> what? What? It's like we just did what? this joke. Mega evolution. No way. In oh Oop. my god, incredible. Oof. Yes. You never, you never want to see Starmie get hit when there's a Lapras standing next to you. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Lapras Always. is pretty darn tanky, so it's pretty hard to actually get it to aggro onto the Lapras, yeah. and it's just Obviously, dead. Sandy's kind of getting a minus defense uh, Lapras is a gamble, but if it works, it Also, hey, Edgy, congrats. Hello, thank you. I have nothing uh, to, to say you? about my run, so... It was kind of a run, wasn't it? But nothing, happened, was... nothing at all. <laughs> that was one of the runs of all time. It was good until okay. I threw, so that's cool. Yeah. Actually, yeah. no, I yeah, threw early on really anyway. Awesome. But oh, you're still yeah, you're you're so cool. Huh? How'd you throw early on? Tell us. Oh, I went for a strat I couldn't actually do. I didn't have the stats for it on uh, Bridge <laughs> Rival. <laughs> you mean the sand it's I, I literally didn't remember the strat. I just like vaguely remembered it. I tried searching my Discord. And then by the time I saw the Rattata that I should have just caught, I was like, no, I want to try it anyway, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I really thought you were going to Yeah, I know the run was still like passable, which is amazing. Um, yeah, no, not a bad time yeah. at all. I need to leave the call, but GG's and goodbye. GG's. Well, all right, I'll see you later. I think I'll see you in like two weeks. He's gone. Okay. That's okay. Everyone, everyone has to leave really quick after this run, so no worries. Yeah. Yeah, big GG's to Edgy. Be a big wrap uh, up. No problems through champion for Sandy, uh, and that's pretty fantastic. Um, we're just gonna see how how this goes. And don't misclick on Slowbro. Perfect. <laughs> that's 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 the Etchy special. <laughs> yeah. Sandy's. <laughs> Sandy's better than that. Sandy's above that nonsense. For sure. And look at well, that. And that is you going to be it. it. So yeah, I believe uh, I believe Sandy was correct. This does look like a three oh nine ten. Wonderful. GG's to Sandy. They will not be able to join us after this this uh, this run finishes. But no, I believe uh, they have company over their house. So yes, yeah. So um, got, that's got okay. Fantastic. What did we What did we all think about this this first round of the tournament? How did we uh, how did we feel about this? Anything we liked seeing? No shinies, but I enjoyed um, all of the Who shinies. All of the great scenes. Otherwise, uh, personally, I'm just really impressed with how everyone's doing. Uh, Echi yeah. kind of just—I don't know what Echi was doing, to be honest. But like the fact that he had such a good run, like speak speaks volumes about him uh, and how good he is at the game. Uh, let's see. Sandy doing really solid as well. And yeah, I don't really know what if there was much like bad about Sandy's run. Yeah. Uh, Mocha like got kind of obliterated, but like you Not played virtual. really freaking well. Oh yeah, uh, there's really someone that's been running man. for two weeks. Yeah. I thought you yeah, were going to just uh, a file if you got minus attack. Yeah. The fact that you yeah, didn't did a great job. Make some serious guts. Uh, it didn't oh, end sure. up paying off, unfortunately, but. The fact that you did it, I'm I'm more than impressed on that. The confidence to, to pull that out in round one, and then the ability to like make it all work despite not being able to get catches, experience, or like anything really. So yeah, no, I'm. So yeah, y'all did really well. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much to all three runners of this race. Uh, who we got? Who we got coming up next? Uh, anyone got so that coming show? up next? Actually, we do have upcoming races. Let me uh, send us there. Thanks, Sai. Of course, yeah. <laughs> our next uh, <laughs> our uh, next uh, match will be Saiyan versus Crisis versus Sheep, uh, which is yeah. tomorrow. Two days. No, two days. Two days. Two days. Sorry, I'm in I'm in Fierce's computer, and he's in a much different. <laughs> Ah, he's in the Euro times. So yes. Yeah, he's he's on the other side of the pond. Um, so yeah, uh, that will be um, uh, Thursday. Yes, because today was a holiday in the U.S. Uh, so that'll be Thursday at one thirty Eastern. If you like to convert that to your uh, local time, 
Uh, and then also, uh, a couple hours later, we have uh, Amber versus Kerbis versus Leggy. We'll um, see and then on Friday. JT versus Tucker versus uh, Diego. Yeah, congrats yeah, to JT's JT for technically... moving up the pot. <laughs> yep. Yeah, to just to for clarification, JT is not actually in pot one. He's not actually racing yeah. them, but he's just going to be kind of running alongside to get a time because he's already kind of won his race by default after JT's Vermillion. opponent had to bow out of the tourney. But uh, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we got some good races. I think JT against Tucker against Diego, even though it's technically not JT against them. I think that's just going to be probably the closest. Uh, race in quotes of the round uh but amber and kerbis especially are going to be absolutely insane yeah uh, you know kerbis is going to try to beat Echi. yeah that's going to be a very good race but looking Still forward to watching that one me too uh thank yeah. you so much for watching everybody um absolutely remember uh everybody hates archer all my homies yeah. hate archer all my homies hate archer all my homies hate Archer. All right, everyone. Yeah. Well, yep, that's going to be the first race, and uh, we will uh, we will see you guys uh, in next two days. Time. Yeah, we'll see you guys in two days for uh, the next race. Yeah, join the join the tourney Discord uh, if you want to see some more stuff. There's also some pickums, all the, all sorts of random stuff that you can have fun with. So, hope you enjoy and have a good night or day wherever you may be. Thanks for watching, everyone.